What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Hyperforce. Hyperforce. Yes. All right, guys. I got a couple quick announcements, and I'm going to get out of your hair and let these guys take over the show and do what they do best. Uh, our very special sponsor tonight is Loot Crate. Loot Crate. Uh, Loot Crate. Which is extremely awesome because right now, if you sign up by November 19th at 9 p.m., you're going to get one of five exclusive Mighty Morphin Power Ranger minifigures. Whoa! Well, what? So you need to sign up by November 19th to get access to it, but to make that a little easier and better for you, uh, if you use the code POWER15 uh, at checkout, you'll get 15% off your what? order. So oh. that's just for this show. You have till the 19th to do it. Wait, so what did you say? November to, to today 19th, is five days, November man. 14th. You got five days. Oh my goodness. So you can do lootcrate.com slash hyperforce and then use that code at checkout. Uh, there's information if you scroll down, you can click on the link below the channel. It'll be up on screen. The mods will have it running in the chat. You have all the places that you can click, click, click and get that 15% off and get that one of five exclusive figure. Uh, so that's super awesome. And Loot Crate was nice enough uh, while being a part of the show today to do a really big and awesome giveaway at the end of the show. What? So what? we're going to be loot doing crate. a whole what bunch of exclusive Loot Crate stuff. Hopefully Lucas has shown it up on screen for you. There's like pajamas. Uh, pajamas? <laughs> exclusive, okay, I, I got yeah, yeah. <laughs> Exclusive figures, uh, pins, all sorts of stuff, all in one big box of Power Ranger stuff exclusively from Loot Crate. Oh my goodness. So that's an awesome, awesome giveaway. Uh, that's going to be at the end of the show, so you're going to want to stick around to the entire show if if you want a chance to win, anyone watching can win. And we have another special giveaway at the end of the show tonight, but only if we hit our subscriber goal. Oh, what's that? The subscriber goal is at 2,700 right now. That's mm -hmm. our next goal. And there, well, there, it's like a gift that just keeps giving. Because oh, at 2,700, okay. Bert promised to dress up as a rebel on uh, our Star Wars show because he hates rebels. Uh, he didn't promise. We gave him that. And uh, <laughs> outside of that, um, Karen here has agreed to sign her cards oh. from the show and we'll give them away to someone Yay! in the audience if we hit our goal. So uh, all of her player cards that she's using tonight, we'll give those away to a if lucky individual if we hit our goal tonight. <laughs> Get that I made, I made four track. extras because of you. <laughs> <laughs> I made extras. Yes. Uh, and you'll be able to take home some, of Yay. course. Thank uh, you. And we have a special guest. I mean, geez. Special guest tonight. Yay! Yay! Ladies and gentlemen, Karen Ashley. Uh, thank you, thank you. One or two more announcements, and then I'll, I'll get out of here. Uh, last week, you guys broke the metagame, so thank you so much for doing that. Uh, you, you absolutely broke it. You sent so much energy, the system couldn't keep up. So I bought a Ferrari. Thanks. Yep. Uh, we readjusted the system this week. You're going to see it's going to take a lot more what? of you pulling together to get the energy out there, which is what we want. We want it to be balanced. We don't want it to just be like flood the system. What? You're still going to get energy, man. Just Flood the system. We balanced it out a little bit better. Uh, so don't forget, scroll down, join that extension, build your ranger. Uh, you can earn energy by sending bits to the channel, watching other shows, tw uh, go over to your badges, click tweet. You can do all sorts of different things to gain energy for the show, uh, as well as just watching and talking in the chat. You can earn energy that way, going on missions, all that good stuff. The other way that you can interact with this show is by uh, supporting us. Uh, by getting super, mega, and ultra for the cast members that helps them on their journey as they're in combat. Please. Super, Please. super Please. gives them a plus Please. two uh, to their attack roll. Uh, mega gives them a plus two to their actual damage. And an ultra gives them an extra d6 to both rolls. So it could be like super, super awesome when they're doing those. Uh, ultra. And it's ultra awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Malika. Uh, and the reason we do all that stuff and subscribers and all that stuff is you guys' support allows us to keep making this wonderful show and uh, keep doing cool stuff that you guys want to see and keep making the show better every single week. So your support goes a really long way, and we really, really do appreciate that. We do. Thank uh, you. Agreed. Let's see. That card's done. Whoa. That card's done. Whoa. Oh, guess what? On Fridays now, we're doing this thing called Destroying Sudarso's Legacy. <laughs> <laughs> Time. We won a good amount. Once we got you back on the iPad, you were yeah. like an 85% win rate. Yeah. Which is <laughs> but great. prior to, it wasn't my account, that's why. I'm just going to Yeah, because when, <laughs> when it was on the phone, we gave away almost 50 cards I know, I'm so of sorry, giveaways. Dude. We were just so bad. Yeah. Uh, so every Friday at 3 p.m., uh, Peter's going to be playing Legacy Wars with you guys in the audience. Aww, and cool. it's a lot of fun. You should tune in. And the only. Join the Hyperforce Alliance. Yeah, join the Hyperforce Alliance. There's like eight of them now. There's eight now? Yeah. You should just sign up. Sign up, Dan. When's the big Hyper Force Alliance Smackdown cage match? 
With about 240 about. people. <laughs> Smackdown. <laughs> Semantics. And the only other announcement I have before I get out of your hair is I will be at PAX Unplugged this weekend. So if you are out at PAX Unplugged, uh, keep an eye out. Join our Discord we'll be, uh, or follow us on Twitter. We'll be talking about a Thumper meetup. If you want to ask me questions or just hang out and meet other Thumpers and fans of the show, we'll be doing that sometime this weekend over at PAX Unplugged. So hope to see you guys there. Thumpers. So you guys ready? Yeah. Yeah. All right, it's time for Hyper Force. Lucas, roll it! So we're going to start right where we left off last episode. And you guys are doing a, a little bit of an act of community service, cleaning up a mess in the library. So we're, we're going to come and zoom in on you guys. You guys are picking up books left and right, and you're discussing amongst yourselves what just happened. I don't Absolutely. know if you guys noticed, but there's a lot of clean holes blown straight through these books. We might need to look for little bits and get some tape to, you know. I have some band-aids that I found. I, I don't think that's going to solve the book issue, but. I mean, do they even read? They'll be obsolete in a thousand years anyway. That's true. Right. They can and wait they got those years. box computers that they probably could have books on, right? Yeah. Sure. I mean, that's how we read, right? Like no. History needs to be preserved. So these right, books right, right. need to be preserved. And yes. Plus it helps to not change that whole space-time continuum thing. So right? band-aids don't work. Probably not. Just something I don't sticky. Think that, yeah. Yeah. And I mean, if things are vaporized, I'm sure that we can't really bend it back to life. Then what do we... We burn them. No. 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 Guys. no. Eddie's right. These are important for the legacy of the species. The ones that are repairable, let's repair them. The ones that are not, let's... Burn them. Burn them. No. Uh, no. 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 Let's, no. let's, no. let's, no. let's, no. let's no. put them in a pile for later generations to reconstitute based on other copies. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. Uh, that little girl that ran away and talked to you, Marv, mm -hmm. uh, she's on the edge and her parents have her now and she's looking at you and pointing in your direction and says to her mommy and okay. daddy, uh, that was the architect guy. He, he told me I was a brave and strong fairy. Yeah. Oh. I gave you candy. Uh. Yeah, you gave me candy. I ate it. See? Uh. Okay, I'm not in trouble. <laughs> I thought that she was going to tell on me or something. Hi, uh, how's, it, how's it going? Uh, okay, what were those... Things I never seen books do that before. We haven't either, to be honest. I mean, we're not really sure what happened. We just wanted to make sure that everything was okay. It's an alien. Oh. You should be afraid. Uh, well, 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 can you say no, 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 no. She, she, she's yes, a sci-fi writer. She's a sci-fi writer. She yeah. likes to uh, imagine things, right? Yes, yeah. we're sugarcoating it. It's, it's, That's where that comes wow, from. Wow, so you like write mm. books? Yes. yes, yes, that's why we were here. Wait, and, those, we have... and those creatures you saw were part of a live performance of the characters from the books that we are writing. That's right. So around the park. Yay. Uh, library in the park. Oh, uh, no, yeah. What about that like lady who was reading the book by herself and that guy, he just touched the ground and made stuff move around? Are special those, like, effects. Yeah. Special yeah. effects. We're from Ha. Uh, what is it called? What is it called? Hollywood. 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 Have That's it? correct. We're Hollywood. from Hollywood. So Movie what are you stars. doing in Angel Grove? Well, we're, we're an educational theater troupe. Yes. That's correct. And we <laughs> put on historically incorrect portrayals of certain eras from the past. Like Thank what you. eras of the past? You know, like the Old West or yeah. the uh, the Romans. Oh, the Ro Romans. Or 1994. I mean, like yeah. right now. Like now, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna pull Vespers aside. Vesper, we, I, look, we can't be talking about things that scare the civilians. Not to mention, we can't really freak them out with the words like alien or year 3000. No, no, we're no. rangers. This isn't honesty yes. our policy? Yes, you're right. But we can work in terms of honesty around the fact that these guys may be attacked by aliens because let's not scare the public. But 
Okay. Yeah. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, let's uh, let's avoid anything alien So I related. shouldn't tell her that the world might end? Well, the world won't end. I mean, we're in the year 3000. And, well, I guess we don't know about that. Yet. We don't know about that. Look, our mission is to find this Alliance leader. These other characters, they are simply distracting us from that mission. What can we do? What yeah. are you guys talking oh, about? Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> How many people are weird? How many people are weird? We are a little bit weird, but you have been so amazing. You have been like the best audience member that we have ever had. I think we're going to make you an uh, honorary member. An honorary member. And I have this entire bag of candy. Oh, wait. That's probably... That's a burrito. <laughs> Here you go. It's also a burrito. <laughs> I have a burrito. <laughs> I know what a burrito is. Yeah? Would you like it? It, It's my own recipe. It's kind of really good. Um, I throw the burrito at the girl. You throw the Maybe, burrito at the girl. Maybe, uh, but not, not from people's pockets. That's okay. kind of weird. That's smart. That's smart. <laughs> she was testing you, right? That's what she was doing. She wanted to make sure that you wouldn't take food from strangers, right? Well, yes. You're an honorary member. I think we're done here. Keep living your best life, okay? We believe in you. <laughs> okay, you guys are very confusing. Thank you. you Thank you. you. Nice you, to see you. you Sci-fi sci writer. I, yeah. I like it when people read me books. Oh. No. Actually, I will no, read no, you no, a book. Not, do not read books. Do not. It's okay. No. This we... book is called... Here, how about read uh, this one called uh, Fairy Princess of the Woods? Just read uh, this one. Actually, yeah. Uh, roll for that. Oh, me? Uh, no, you're grabbing just a, a random book from the library. Grabbing a random book. Yeah. I rolled a one. <laughs> <laughs> a one. Uh, it's a dictionary. Uh, it's uh, Ancient Treaties of Roman History. <laughs> this book, young one, is called Wait. Ancient Treaties of Roman History. In the year 90 BC, Actually, there I'm was a very, in ancient Mesopotamia, they created well, how about agriculture. this one, actually? I think, I think she'd be more interested in fairy princess no, of the woods. No, I like this story. I want to hear it. Okay, sure. Listen, I'll give you the abridged version. Okay. <laughs> what happened? What happened? Uh, so what well, happens you. is um, <laughs> things are kind of weird for a while, but in the year 3000, things get pretty awesome. <laughs> so you just have to hold on until then. Um, you won't experience it, so obviously, world. but maybe your great, great, great grandchildren. So just hang in there. Sorry you live in this time period, but it does get better for us. Best part. Wow. Yes. Stop. Stop oh. it. Oh, I did Stop it. Yeah, Great yeah. to see That's you. Okay. I want to be learning. a sci-fi writer. You That's should. Good. And That's she turns good. and she like runs back to mom. Mommy, I want to be like her. She's a sci-fi writer. <laughs> well, Boy, while she does she this, ever. guys, should we not be I moving faster towards what we're supposed to be doing? Yeah. Absolutely. Look, we know that Scorpina and 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 Vikonos, uh, Vulcanos. V Vulcanos are in cahoots. We have to find out what the connection is between them and what it means in relation to us in this timeline. Well, we don't even and know where, where he's getting the clay, this magic he's, clay. That he's getting it from Fenster's clay, which is really bad because like I said, that could let them be able to create monsters. And if they're working together, who knows what they'll come up with. But where can we find them? The last time that that kind of clay has been seen has been in the lair of Rita Repulsa. Where is that? Isn't it on a map? Oh, well, yeah. I'm, I'm sure I've read some books about it regarding. Uh, uh, roll, roll a d6. Me? Megan? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, Chloe? Yes. Five! Five. So you, re you do remember from your history lessons as a Time Force Academy cadet, uh, Rita Repulsa lives on the moon, operates from the moon has many cronies on the moon. In particular, there was one who was a monster creator. Maybe you remember what he looks like. Uh, I remember. It's on the moon. Well, yeah, but how, how can we even get to the moon? Our ship doesn't work, not to mention we can't breathe on the moon. Everyone knows there's no... Alpha, how do I build a spaceship to the moon? Um, dee dee. Yes, Chloe, you... How do you build a spaceship to the moon? I, 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 I wish I even knew how to do that. 
However, I, I'm getting a strange transmission on the ship. I think you should be uh, uh, come back up here once you're finished down there in Angel Grove. Guys, oh. I think Alpha has a spaceship for us. I might have read into things, but it's looking pretty good. <laughs> we can go check it out. You think they got it handled over here? I mean, I think we've put enough books together. We should definitely see what Alpha's up to. Yeah, it's going to take a long time for people to read all through these books to find out that some of them are missing an orange-shaped cylinder through the middle. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, let's let's get going. Wait, let's, young away from child. Here. I have grown quite fond of you. <laughs> so uh, she's already kind of run off with her parents. That's her who, who, who are you talking to? Are you talking to, to? <laughs> you talking yeah. me? Yeah, young child. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the lady. Hi, lady. Hi. Oh, Vesper, why? I, I want you to survive until adulthood. <laughs> until we meet again is what she means to say. She's uh... Remember, a karate chop to the jugular will solve a lot of problems, young one. She looks at both of her little hands, trembling. Uh, got it. No, no, o yeah. only if people are attacking you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, self-defense. Yeah. Do not initiate. Or I will make an excellent parent one day. You will. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I mean, aside from I mean, hitting, but uh, we'll work on that. Next time, those guys will be half too afraid of me, I think. I don't know some. Yeah. yeah. Hey, wait a minute, kid. What's your name? Diana. Diana. <laughs> I think it sounds like diamond. I like my name. Diana. Oh, you know what, Diana? Huh? You're a wonder. wonder. Aw, yeah. thank you. I think I just saved that child's life. You might have sure. Just you sure did. <laughs> let's yeah. get back. All right. To let's go back to the useless cloaked ship. All right. You're right, and then uh, we walk out. Sure. Of the, well, or not? Would you? Right. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Marv, were you about to go somewhere? Well, I was just gonna go somewhere, uh, maybe more discreet. But so that's okay. You are back at the time ship, as you know it. It's very familiar. It still is in a little bit of disarray. Remember, it cannot. Uh, move physical locations mm -hmm. and it cannot travel through time however uh, it can cloak itself and it can uh, teleport you uh, down to Angel Grove uh, Alpha turns to Mar I'm sorry did I interrupt something were you on your way to the restroom no 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 that, I, was just... I, I try not to teleport Rangers as they are attempting to relieve themselves you see <laughs> Us robots, we don't have to consider such things. Ah, Alpha, nice. you're being really weird. <laughs> so this uh, this transmission, Alpha, what what did you say we have? Ah, yes. And Alpha turns and uh, at the center console of the uh, command area. It's not the command area. The the central control area. Excuse me. I'm just so excited about what's about to happen. Uh, at at the center. Um, control area of the ship where you guys have gotten holograms and messages that kind of thing it's a, a, a light pale green glow is moving back and forth shimmering where is this transmission coming from alpha i'm not quite sure it seems it seems to be coming from here angel grove what? this year 1994. wait you mean someone found a way into our systems that can't be safe. Yes, it was a message and I, I accepted the message. Oh my goodness, ay ay ay, what's happening? And then it uh, shines a great white light and then suddenly in loads in the hologram message. It is a green uh, glass tube with a huge head. It's mostly a face and there's the face of a man. Ah! Eddie, what is that? Who is that? It's a, it's a little head. No, that is Zordon of Altair. Zordon! Whoa. That's right. I am Zordon, an interdimensional being caught in a time warp. Wow. Unfortunate. Well, I mean, we're kind of in a similar situation here. Zordon, who are you and what can we do to help you? Besides the interdimensional being part. I mean, besides, besides that. that. Yeah. Hobbies. As you said, Marv. I am in a similar situation as you are. I have been aware of your presence here in Angel Grove in the year 1994 when you first arrived on October 31st. Wait. However, I also know that you are travelers from the future. 
I hesitate to intervene and talk to people who know of what may come to humankind. That's pretty good. We also must be very careful, Zordon, in how we interact with you because our <laughs> goals are at their base the same. We do not want to ruin the past, but we must preserve the future. Absolutely. And I am aware of a great evil force who has also traveled through time and arrived at this space. Yes, Wait. Zordar, your highness. Uh, what? I, who is this guy and why are you guys so... King? It's Zordon. it's really, he's who, really who the big is, deal. So he's the king. He sounds familiar, I've he's, heard his name. Uh, uh, roll, Peter, oh. D6. Three. Three. Um, maybe there was a picture of Zordon in one of your history books. Look, I've uh, seen a picture of him, but that's that's pretty much the extent of it. But how do you even know who we are? When we got here, how do you know so much about us? Yeah. I believe some mysteries are best untold. Hmm. Zordon. So vague. Mysterious. <laughs> Not only are about this, you have this deal with the time traveling being, but we ran into a Scorpina and a Valkanos, and they're looking for Finster's clay. Ah. I must stop you there. I, I, I need not know more details. However, I know that you're up against a fearsome evil force. I have decided to call one of the rangers from this time, <gasps> the Yellow oh. Ranger. Yellow wait, 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 and then suddenly, um, just like from behind you guys, so you guys are looking at Zordon's hologram talking to you, and from behind, uh, a, another person teleports in, and it is Aisha Campbell. Aisha. Duh! Huh. Hi, Zordon. I teleported you <clears throat> to this that? ship. I'm fine. This is a group of five other Power Rangers, like yourself. However, they are not like yourself. They are travelers from the future. It is important that you must not know or ask too many questions about oh. what will happen to us and humankind. However, they need your experience and mentorship. Okay, understood, Zordon. Hi guys, I'm Aisha Campbell. I'm the Yellow Ranger uh, of this time. Yeah, I'm, I'm a Jack uh, D. Thomas. I'm the Yellow Ranger of the other time. Um, the other time? Guess what ranger uh, I am? Black? How'd you know? That's a good guess. Oh, I see. Right. Yes. I mean, it's pretty obvious. Yeah. <laughs> I will leave you in the good hands of Aisha Campbell, the yellow ranger. Wait. And then oh. the, just to help. Hologram gone. gone. Whoa. It's he, gone. Is he always that vague? Yeah, kinda. I mean, he's a, uh, um, yeah, he's a hologram. He only yeah. gives you just enough. Ah. Marvin, nice to meet you. Hi, Marvin. I'm Chloe. Hi, Chloe. Uh, He's Eddie. Take a deep breath. <gasps> I'm Eddie. Hi, Eddie. I'm the Blue Ranger. I can tell. <laughs> Guys, it's so it's it's so great to meet you. I've I've never met other Rangers from other times. It's it's, it's just crazy. It's an honor. It's truly an honor to have you fight by our side. But I'm still not sure this is a great idea. Aisha, we have read about you in our history books for decades. Yes. In Wait, your history books? It, it's an honor. Well, I mean, you, you don't know where we're from, but it is in the far future. Yeah. You wow. guys. Like far future. Yeah, yeah far, far future, but not that it just matters. to say, I think you've inspired quite a bit of us, and we all really look up to you and everything that you've done. Wow. Aye, aye, aye. Oh my goodness, it's the Yellow Power Ranger. Yes, we are from the year 2016. We are from the time for the... And so Alpha is just so excited to uh, approach uh, Aisha. Aisha, this is Alpha 55. <laughs> Alpha definitely pulled you. You get it? She, okay, <laughs> never mind. What are you talking about? <laughs> nothing, nothing. Nice uh, to meet you, Alpha 55. Oh, absolutely. I am here to assist you. 
This is crazy. This is so cool, though. I mean, it's so great to see rangers from the future. Yeah, we're, we are the Hyperforce Rangers. Wow. Amazing. I, 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 I'm speechless. I don't know exactly how I can help you, but obviously Zordon knew that there was something that I could, you know, bring to the team, and I'm, I'm happy to be here, guys. Whatever you need, Do I'm you here to help. Well, a burrito? <laughs> you guys have burritos in the future? It's we awesome. don't, but she, well, there's that. Whew. Uh, you <laughs> should get addicted We've to We've got those. a real problem here in this timeline. Yes. Uh, there is a, some sort of interdimensional or time traveling uh, evil called the Alliance, which has wreaked great havoc in our timeline. We are attempting to follow the roots of this evil, and that is why we have journeyed back to your time in order to follow the traces and the clues like a good law enforcement team, which we are to identify how we can ameliorate the effect on our own time. Well, currently now, he's, well, the Alliance leader has teamed up with someone from your time. Okay. Exactly, it's it's somebody who, the, the, their base is on Luna Prime. It's apparently a, a, a famous villain from from our history. But what, Vesper, what, what's the name? Uh, Rito? Dorito. Rito. Yes, it must be Rito. No, Dorito? no, no, it's, it's Rito. Dorito. No, no, Rito. No, no, Rito. Rito's a different character entirely. Yeah. It's Rita. 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 Is a guy named Rito and Rita? Yeah. 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 It really is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Rita. Uh, yes, Rita Repulsa. <laughs> she, uh, she has the. Uh, she works with Finster, yes. and they have this clay that they use to make monsters. And we ran into a, a Scorpina. Uh, who had who this very beautiful. pretty, very, very, very. Don't pretty. be, don't very. be like you know distracted by her beauty. Right. That's like. Oh, you know her? Yes, I know all of them, guys. Rita is. She, this, I mean, guys, we could be in big trouble. I mean, this is serious. We're really gonna have to like train, and we have to like come up with a plan. I mean, Rita is. I mean, she's no joke, guys. Do you know where Finster's lab is? I would assume that his lab is. In Rita's, you know, castle in her lair, uh, and it's on, on the moon. moon. Luna on the Prime. Moon. At this current uh, era, remember Lord Zed is in charge of many of the opponents you will face, Aisha. Oh, have I said too much already? No. Wait, wait. Zed? Alpha, I just realized you can teleport us anywhere on Earth. Can you teleport us to the moon? Unfortunately, the teleportation capabilities of our ship are now limited to the area around oh. Angel Grove. Hmm. Well, if you have any suggestions. Well, How about that hologram floating head guy? Well, Zordon of Altair. I mean, he could help us, but really, Alpha 55 would probably be the one, but I may have, um, I may have a little something that could help us. Oh, what is that? Well, I, I mean, I don't know. I have I have a, a Zord. I mean, a Zord. Yeah, I mean, we can go. I have a saber two tiger Zord. Hey, that's and I awesome. Mean, you guys don't have Zords? Well, I mean, you know, we're 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 getting there. Oh, yeah. okay. I mean, we're very new. Oh, you know? okay. Maybe yeah. we do. Yeah, have we're not sure. yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. the Rangers here they they were they had to leave in a quite a hurry. Okay. And they were ill-equipped when they embarked on their journey. Okay. It was a bit of a rush decision since seeing as how time itself could crumble, so we just kind of went for it. Wow, we okay. We were forced to jump right in. Okay, okay. How many seats does your saber tooth tiger have? Well, typically, I'm usually the only one in it, but I'm sure we could, like, you know, maybe lap up or I don't know. Shotgun. We can, yeah, we can. We can probably all fit. It's it's pretty. It, I mean, it's like the Cadillac of Zord. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wow. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. Wait, so, so you're saying your Zord could take us exactly to where the lab is? I can't see why it wouldn't. I mean, well, the only... are you Rangers aware of where Fencer's laboratory might be? No, not at all. Any think, clues to? Well, I, I mean, it's technically on the moon, isn't it? Duh, Marv. Yeah, but the moon is huge. Yeah. Oh, true. There yeah. are many regions therein. It could take us days, like days of just. If I were to scan the area of the moon for Finster's laboratory, what, what types of energy might I be looking for? 
some sort of dark energy. Dark yeah. energy, possibly some monster making clay of some kind. I would kind. say creative energy. I mean, Finster's really creative, guys. He can make a monster out of anything. Uh, I mean, absolutely anything. However, I, d I don't Pushing. believe, I don't recall having any samples of energy from monsters of this time. Oh, <gasps> could we get one of the books yeah. that has the hole in it? Let's mm. do that. That's With a that great word? idea. Excellent idea, oh. Chloe. I like your thinking, Chloe. Absolutely. Would you like to go down and fetch one of the books? Oh. I can. Yeah, I can do it. Vesper, you want to come with me? Yeah. All right, so. Uh, that, Vesper, Chloe, make sure you check the book out before check. you take it. Okay, we'll do. <laughs> oh, and uh, remember, the whole year 3000 and punching people and aliens thing, maybe you'll dial it down just a little bit. I'll do my best. And then as she says, I do my best, you're being teleported back down uh, to the library. And when you arrive down at Angel Grove, it seems like uh, the police officers have arrived and they've taped off the area and uh, some of the librarians that were shuddering uh, behind the counter are being interviewed uh, by the police. Oh my goodness! Yes, there's this woman, she has like a curly brown hair and then all of a sudden I'm telling you the books they like turned into like people and they were like punching things. It was horrible and the officer is just kind of sadly like nodding. <laughs> yes ma'am. And uh, who else was here? That's what you guys are seeing now that you've uh, teleported down to the front of the library. All right. Primitive law enforcement. So, uh, this is a pretty sketchy situation that we caused. Um, oh, wait. We're going to dive into a bush because I don't want people to see us. Okay. So, now we're behind a bush and there's cobwebs and spiders and stuff. I think you should create a diversion and I'll use my superior martial arts skills to sneak into the library and grab a book and jump back out back here. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> On the count of three. <laughs> yes. One. Guys, two. remember to check out the book, okay? Don't just steal it. Okay. Okay, new plan. I'll use my sneaking skills to sneak in, discreetly check it out. And I'll create a distraction. Yes. Okay, got it. Good. Okay. Um, all right. <laughs> Three, two, one. Go. I run out onto the field and then I'm like. Uh, in, you run out onto the field outside of the library. Outside of the library uh -huh. where they're doing the interviews. Sure. And I'm like, ah! Ah! Uh, And then I start throwing candy corn everywhere. Uh, <laughs> roll a d6 for me. <laughs> you got a four. Um, also, ah! your, your bonus is, oh, your bonus is in stealth. Oh, shit. <laughs> Is that what your character card says? Yes, yes. Bonus self. <laughs> All right. Uh, your bonus is in tech. All right. Um, so you rolled a four. Yes. All right, just roll against me. Ah. Uh, so all of a sudden, the police officer stops interviewing the librarian and turns and looks at you and uh, tells the librarians, wait a minute. And this uh, young police officer comes up to you, and uh, there are some other police officers. They're taking care of the situation, taping it down. Um, can I help you? Um, I don't know, officer. Can I help we? <laughs> <laughs> I'm an on-duty on officer. Um, I can see that. If you're trying to do something, you should roll a d6. <laughs> I am gonna super roll it. Okay. <laughs> super roll. I got a eight. Oh, what are you trying to do? Um, charm him. Oh. Ooh. Is his name Lieutenant Stone? That's <laughs> <Is he> right. <laughs> this officer's a little younger. Oh. Oh. A little younger. Uh, very, very short hair, like almost a buzz cut. Um, maybe you get the sense that he's a, um, you know, by the rules. Ah, yes. Ah. I'm on duty, however, it is my duty to help civilians. Yes, I am a civilian and I respect a man in uniform. You 
are doing such a great job. As I'm talking to him and wooing him with my excellent charm in. Well, we're <laughs> trying to clear the area. A bunch of stuff went down at the library. All sorts of monsters, but I ain't quite seen or heard of anything like this before because they're made out of books. That just sounds absurd. Books? Really? Is this some sort of cartoon? Well, the way things always happen in Angel Grove, I don't know what to believe anymore. Yeah, totally. Vesper, hurry up. I'm, I can't flirt anymore. Okay, meanwhile, we cut over to Vesper. Still. This is, this is Vesper Lee Vasquez performing a super important mission for the Power Rangers. What? What are you talking about, Vesper? What is she, what is she saying? Is I she am currently sneaking from the bushes met. to the library where I will attempt to achieve, retrieve a book. You are not in the library yet, Vesper. I'm I am running out of things to say to this man. Keep going. What are you guys doing down yeah. there? The officer says, what's your favorite color? <laughs> what's your favorite color? <laughs> I like the rainbow colors. I like pink. I like red, I like purple, I like indigo, I like blue. Vesper! Well, don't tell other people, but I like rainbows too. Oh! Gives you a little wink. Meanwhile, uh, I'm now on the ground. It's sneaking. <laughs> 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 Can I see Vesper? Just like, like a wink. Uh, well, he's like, uh, a four. Uh, yeah, you can you can yes. see the bushes yes. moving, and you, you know it's probably her. Oh my gosh, Vesper. I got this. I think I'm doing a great job. I will not disturb the inhabitants of this time, just like Marv told me not to. Uh, roll d6. <laughs> Three. All right, uh, you're, uh, you make it all the way up to the stairs. It seems like nobody's noticed you, but it's not very comfortable crawling up the stairs that way. I have made it to the stairs. I hope you're all proud of me. I know I'm taking on a very dangerous mission. <laughs> but I will do you proud, Rangers. Very proud of you, Vesper. Very uh, proud. Once Thank you, you. Uh, enter the, uh, you know, peek your way into the library, you can see it's kind of uh, a little bit empty. They've kind of cleared it out. The area is empty. <laughs> it looks like it's been cleared out. <laughs> I'm going to go get a book. Uh, I'm going to go get the book about ancient Rome. I feel like I've connected to this book, therefore, I will go retrieve this particular book. Vesper, make sure it has a hole in it. We need one that has, you know, the energy stuff on it. I'll also grab one of those. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> that book, uh, the back cover is like blackened and torn out. Oh, great. So it's, it's good. I hear they also have, they might also have some, some books from the era. Do you, do you guys have any requests? Oh, uh, uh, uh. Comic books? Yes, yes. Give me a comic book. Please. Okay, I will. Do I need a roll for anything? <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you guys want? We want, we, I want three books, Mesopotamia, one with a hole in it, and a comic book for, for Chloe. All right, uh, roll D6. Super roll. Yeah! Whoa! Oh, no. oh. Okay. Oh. Uh, I probably could have morphed and like got the book. That might have been my mission. Let us uh, do this. Yes. The, uh, the other books, they are, uh, there's uh, one more on the floor, but it seems like many of the other books are um, kind of taped away and then there's um, signs that say evidence, like somebody had marked it and if you disturb those stacks, somebody will know. If I disturb these stacks, Chloe, somebody will <laughs> notice. Uh, what is that? It means no comic book for you, I'm sorry. <gasps> Fine, that's okay. I guess we should probably hurry anyways. Okay, I'm gonna sneak out of here. Okay. Uh, you grab the other, uh, so what What do you have right now? I okay. have, I have, um, I have a random book. I can't see what it says because okay. there's a hole in it. Mm -hmm. I have retrieved the object. You're welcome, Rangers. Hey, listen. I couldn't have done it without you. Vesper, I need you guys to clean it up. You guys are Rangers. Stop playing around and take care of your mission. Jack, first of all, how dare you? Second of all, we <laughs> are doing a very top secret, super sensitive uh, assignment, and I didn't see you volunteer, so I'm just gonna... 
I just muted him. Excuse me. Did you say something? Did she hang up on you? Uh, the officer's she like, that's an interesting watch you got there. Oh. This? I've never seen anybody talk and do their watch before. It's also really big. Yeah. <laughs> it is, um, it's a piece of jewelry. It's from China. Oh, you like jewelry? Yeah. I might have some jewelry. Really? Yeah, I like jewelry too. Oh, you own jewelry as well? Absolutely. Uh, what kind? Well, I got this ring here. It's uh, silver and... Oh, that's a nice ring. Yeah, I took a jewelry class. Oh, you did? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my, wow, you are very crafty. Not only are you a policeman, but you are also a jewelry man. How's everything going down there? It was there? just a workshop. Chloe? I'm very impressed. So, uh, <laughs> you've made it outside of the library now. I think she's muted us, guys. So, Chloe's seems to be in a little bit of a pickle. I'm gonna create a diversion. <laughs> She's in a what? A pickle, it's it's a colloquialism that I picked up down here. Yeah. All right, so. She's in trouble. I wanna, oh. save, I wanna save Chloe from the police officer. Sure. Who, she's just talking to you. We're just gonna take her. We're bonding. Okay, go ahead. So I, I discreetly take out my blaster and I just fire to the bush. <laughs> Next to the officer and the... Uh... No, the bush that we snuck out of. Oh, okay. So by now it's behind you. Yes. Okay, uh, roll d d6. And I'm talking to the officer about... I'm like, do you think I could, like, be jewel this? Oh, so you are able to kind of, like, softly trigger your blaster. Shoo! Uh, and then all of a sudden the officer is like, Oh my god, did you see that? See what? And he runs off towards uh, the bush that you shot. And so do the other officers. It was nice meeting you. Let's go, let's get out of here. Okay, let's go. Uh, Alpha, can you like, beam us up? <laughs> oh, absolutely. Here you go. And then shh. And then you're teleported back into the ship. About with time, everybody. kids. Come on, we've been waiting for like 40 minutes for this. <laughs> you're welcome. <sighs> Thank you, I am welcome. Give us the sample so we can test them. You're for not the, lying, the you guys are, are new. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. 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 I mean, so, we're new, we're all uh, new. Vesper <laughs> should have two books. One is uh, Ancient Rome, oh, right? Too. And then the other is a burnt book. Uh, roll a d6. You haven't quite looked at it yet. Three. Three. Uh, once you look, it's a, it's a giant hole in the cover, but then as you kind of open the cover and look at through the pages, uh, there's also a giant circle on the front page of the book. And uh, you roll again. Oh. Four. Four. You feel like you've seen this book before. This book looks very familiar. This marking on it, I think I've seen it in one of our textbooks. Is it the one that yeah, uh, Sabrina was reading? Why don't Eddie. you go take a look at it, Eddie? All right, I take a look at the book. Sure. Eddie. One. Oh. Uh, <laughs> all you can see is just more circles. It's uh, gotta mean uh, something. On the book. Does this look familiar to you? Really does it, Aisha? This is it any familiarity with your time with these symbols? You know, it it kind of looks like I don't know. It kind of, I mean, this first book was Rome, right? And then this book has a big hole with a bunch of circling. Um, roll d six, please. Aisha. Two. Two. Um, it looks. You can't really tell what it is, but it does look Asian. Okay. Oh. Okay. You know what? Maybe it has to do with the ancient karate. Oh, I mean, it must be the book yeah. that Sabrina was reading. Maybe it has to so. be. Wait. Yeah. Nothing's ever by Wait. accident. What? If it's the book that Sabrina's reading, then it's got energy signature readings of Sab uh, what was her name? Scorpina. Scorp Scorpina. Scorpina. Yeah. Alpha fifty five. Can you use these books in order to figure out where we should go to next? Absolutely. And Alpha kind of does this little waddle towards you guys and takes. <laughs> the book from you, Eddie. You're uh, holding the uh, burned book, the Book of Five Rings, and also <laughs> the book from Vesper, right? Are you giving it willingly this time? 
You have to give it back. <laughs> I'm sure oh, don't worry. I will be able to scan these. Ah, I, yes. They do have some energy readings. However, because of the depleted energy reserves on the ship, it will take time for me to completely scan each and every page. The energy readings are very faint. Uh, I guess then we have some time to wait. Absolutely. Aisha, make yourself comfortable on the ship. There are many fantastic things Living quarters, places yeah. to eat and rest. Yeah. We okay. have this machine that I know how to use. Yeah. It's going to be great. It can make steak, tacos, everything. What? what? You want. Also, there is a access to the pocket dimension where rangers train. That's well, correct. Guys, I mean, while we wait, I think we probably should train. Let me see what you guys got. I mean, you're rangers. I know you guys got skills. Yeah, I mean, we got some cool stuff, we, right? I mean, I don't want to brag. Or, or, <laughs> or, uh, we should go into the combat training area okay. so we don't blow up the ship. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Let's do it. And, and you guys can give me a tour. Maybe later you can make me those steak tacos. Oh, we should, we should make her that thing that we invented last Tuesday. That thing with yeah. the... Oh my yeah, God, you yes. mean the, the yeah. burrito with the with strawberries all, yes. and the steak yes. and the sprinkles and that thing from the back of the yeah. whole thing? The green stuff. Yeah. Really yeah. Like yeah. Okay, okay. anyways, come this way. Come this way. I've got <laughs> that. Burritos. <laughs> so, okay. Okay. so you lead her to the... the training area. Okay, so um, as you kind of walk down uh, the, the ramp from the central area of the ship, um, to your right will be uh, living quarters, and to your left will be like a med bay. And then when you keep walking straight, there's the back door that leaves. And um, even though you don't know what maybe these things are, you get a sense of, okay, that's the exit. It's like the back of the okay. ship. And, uh, and then there's a hall. When you look at the back of the ship towards the right, uh, and then Alpha is following you guys, and you guys are leading the way to that dark hall. And the cool thing about this is that you can actually do whatever you want here. And if you yeah. have any, actually, this would be a great time for us to train for fighting Rita or whoever is here. Absolutely. And if you know their power levels, maybe we could then put it in here and uh, show you what we got. Yeah, we can all train together. We can train as a team. Mm -hmm. awesome. This is where you guys train. Yeah. Wait for it. <clears throat> all right, Alpha, yes, that absolutely. Would you like to enter yes. the pocket dimension? Yes. So uh, it's a giant uh, black um, void. And when you uh, who's stepping through first. I'll go in first. Okay, so when Marv uh, steps through, you see uh, his body just enveloped by the <gasps> void and he completely disappears. It's like uh, you've never seen anything so black before. It almost like hurts your pupils. There's no light coming out of it. <sighs> I want to input the rainbow and clouds before they get in, so that sure. way, way there will be like fluffy rainbows. Just speak to Alpha. Oh, okay. Uh, Alpha, can you input the same settings as before when I trained with Chloe? Except uh, with a monster, uh, we'll let Miss Campbell control this one. I don't understand the purpose of this training simulation. However, I, I do think it does bring you guys together as a team. So, all right, loading data from Yesterday's training simulation. That's yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah. All right. right. I'm going to go in next, but I want to kind of like show off a little bit. So I'm going to go in backwards and be real creepy as my face disappears. Ooh. <gasps> wow, this futuristic stuff is crazy. Yeah. You coming? I want to yeah. show you guys my super cool sneaking skills. So I get down on all fours and just slowly <laughs> crawl into the pocket dimension. As she crawls in, I'm going to tap her. That's where I can, I can see you down there. Oh, uh, can you do right, me a favor? Like you're halfway, it's just like head and like arms coming can you, through. Can you just grab me? I oh, want to look yeah, cool. Sure. Thank you. So, uh, God, Vesper. you're heavy. Vesper yeah. hasn't seen this before. All you see is the giant blue white sky, and you're actually standing on a cloud. This and, is a lot fluffier than I thought it would be. I and there are other clouds uh, up ahead, and uh, I'm I'm like boinging on a rainbow. Vesper, you gotta try this out. What? And then you notice there's like one rainbow, double rainbow, triple rainbow. You guys are still standing outside. Oh. If you jump on the rainbow, as it rains fire. She, Whoa! She that. It's uh, cool. Alpha turns to you three. I have prepared the training simulation under Marv's recommendation. I'm awesome. not going in there. We gotta go in there. Jack, don't be such we a stripper. Jack, come on, Are Jack. You 
chicken. Oh. One thing I know about Rita is we've got to be prepared. We've got to train as much as possible. And since we're waiting for the books to be translated, we got to do this. Jump, don't be chicken. I'm going in. I just jump in there. Like, just, yeah. And then you, like, uh, roll d d6. Oh, oh no. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, uh -oh. Six. Six. Uh, yeah. You, like, land face forward into the cloud, and it's like, Landing in the most, what's, what is the softest thing in, in Eddie's imagination? Marshmallow! In the yeah. softest marshmallow <laughs> ever, and it's big, fluffy marshmallow oh, cloud. Oh, whoa! Chloe, your mind is amazing. Yeah, this is just like, this is just surface level, guys. I got way more ideas. All right, let's cut back to I'm Aisha your and fella. Jack. Let's double yellow. Let's do it. Oh. All right, and Ooh. so you both enter through, oh, oh! We're flipping in, we're like, Oh, oh yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, flipping right into yeah. the pocket dimension, and you've arrived uh, on the uh, cloud as well. Wow! Whoa, Jack! This it feels, it feels like me, marshmallows. This is where you guys train, and that then you notice amazing. like one rainbow, <laughs> two rainbows, triple rainbow. Wow. Wait, now this is the best part. So, what are what are some things that we'll be facing when we deal with Rita? Well, guys. I mean, Rita, let me just say this. She can make a monster out of anything. She loves to make them grow. So the bigger, the better. But we have to, the biggest thing that you gotta, you know, learn while we train is we all gotta work as a team. Yeah. You know, we gotta fight as a team. We've gotta fight as one. We can't instigate a battle, you know, and we definitely can't chase after a fight. We can't do that. That's not what being a ranger is about. But if we have to fight, you know, we've got to get it away from the civilian populace. So, how about very, this? We, yeah. could, uh, we could, Alpha, why don't you input three civilians in our training area and uh, how many do you guys want to take on today? Two? Two monsters? You can yeah. take on two monsters, right? You yeah. Can do it. You can take one on. Yeah. And we'll take one on. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> let's see. What's. What's something that uh, we would probably encounter out here? We what, what, uh, I don't think it would be tactically pertinent to see giant marshmallow rainbows. Can we get a little bit more of a realistic yeah. environment? Darker? As you say that in the background, as everybody's looking at you, um, like it looks like a little unicorn is flying back and it like farts out like uh, sprinkles. Wow. wow. Chloe, why did you put That's that like in? That's so awesome. I mean, but he's... Pretty cool. Yeah. He is right. We probably should be a little more realistic. Typically, when we fight, right. we're at the park. You know, we go to Angel Girl Park. <laughs> I mean, they always attack us there. <laughs> I don't know why we can go back to the park. Swiss fan, tell me. Uh, Swiss fan, Angel Girl Park. <laughs> yeah, we always go to the park. But okay, it seems to always be empty, too. <laughs> right when we need it. So. If That's I, so convenient. Yeah. <laughs> That's it's, nice. it's awesome at Angel Grove, I'm telling you. And, but I mean, you guys have a unicorn farting sprinkle rainbow. I mean, that's kind of awesome. Alpha 55. Too. Yes, replicate Angel Grove Park. Replicating Angel Grove Park. But keep the rainbows. By keeping the rainbow. Yeah. Very yeah. well. Compromise. Uh, so lame. <laughs> I will prepare a soft landing for you. And so your cloud actually drops down lower and lower and lower into what looks like an empty version, as Aisha says, of Angel Grove Park. I jump off in the clouds and, halfway down. And you can see the uh, the rainbows. Uh, as you jump down, Woo! Uh, roll d6. Aww. Oh, that's you can't. That's you can't, <laughs> 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 Oh my gosh! Oh, oh, I got kind of scared there for a second. Guys, come on down here! Um, also, I wanted to give a few points of energy to Aisha. Thank you. Um, for her advice about Rita Repulsa and uh, Empty Angel Grove Park. And then. So wait a minute. How many? How many? How many points oh, of energy? I already put it on the screen. Oh, Look, oh. I gave her three. <laughs> Very high amazing. tech. Yes, <laughs> yes, developed by one of our own community members out of the goodness of his heart. Yeah. Uh, all I have done is just given him cookies. So, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you're down on the ground. Everybody else lands. The cloud dissipates. Ah, Mar 
Or didn't you say you wanted something like three civilians? Uh, yes, uh, Alpha D5, could you code in three civilians and maybe one monster and maybe a bunch of those other little things that were chasing us during that fight the against... Putties. The putties. putties. The putties? That's what they're called. Yeah. Make sure Diana's one of the civilians. Oh yeah, I like her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very well. I have been watching your adventures in Angel Grove. It's been entertaining to say the least. <laughs> and the so uh, three people like show up all of a sudden and they're uh, eating lunch at uh, a picnic table. They are a little robotic as uh, they are made in Alpha's image. There's the little girl, Diana, and uh, she's making a face. She doesn't want to eat a tuna fish sandwich. Uh, there's a young man with a very uh, large uh, armpit holes in his shirt. You might have seen him at Ernie's Juice Bar at the Youth Center when you first arrived at Angel Grove. We're bad and guy. Uh, then there's also that officer, and they're, they've formed a very strange family, and they're trying to make tuna fish sandwiches for young Diana. <laughs> and could you transfer in maybe six of those putties? Six putties and one big guy. Think we can handle it? Sure. Bring it on. We can handle yes. it. What kind of big guy do you mean? Um, that candy corn guy? Yeah, maybe maybe him. Let's bring him back for a change. You want to do... All right, you were in quite a sticky mess. <laughs> a sticky situation. Very well. He's right. I, I remember seeing an old video about this big pig-looking guy with a helmet. Pudgy Pig. Pudgy Is that his name? Is he from Sarah? Yes. Don't yes. tell me he's like a big head of a pig or something like that. Pretty much. Is what, he cute? Really? Yeah. He's cute, but he's dangerous. Oh. Last time we, I mean, last time they fought him, he ate all of their Can zords. He? That what? sounds amazing. All of their, their communicators and stuff. Well, actually, you know what? That's a great idea. I mean, if we're going to be facing off against some of the villains of this time, uh -huh. we should be practicing against them. Alpha 55. Ah, uh, very well. Bring in the pudgy pig. Pudgy pig. Um, roll a d6. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Three. Oh. Three. I. Don't know what kind of pudgy pig you're talking about. I have no record from Ranger history that far back. However, if you describe him, I will be able to recreate it as best as I am able. Okay. Oops. Imagine a giant pig head, but just the head. Like, just what? the no, head. Nobody like. And how does it move around? Oh, it's just kind of moves its hands like this, and the <gasps> mouth just kind of opens. But that's pretty much the limit of the movement. Guys, yeah. that is just like my virtual pet, my Tamadinki. <laughs> yes. Did you have a Tamadinki? <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, I like that too. That. Just a little head, and it, like wobbles around. Oh my, it's just gonna be so cute. Let's go right now, Alpha. All right, right the, very uh, well. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then all of a sudden, um, you might eat your there's a tree uh, just beyond <laughs> the cute little civilian family you guys ordered from Alpha. Uh, and as they're enjoying their tuna fish sandwiches, and uh, and one of them has a, a pineapple peach smoothie. Uh, five putties? Yes. Five putties. Choo, choo, choo. I need two more index cards. Five putties run out from behind <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the, the tree. All right? So I'm going to do... <laughs> now, come on. Yeah. Uh, it's our sound effect. Uh, I'm going to make a group of uh, three. Uh, of three and then two. And so they show up first, and this is how we uh, we begin our initiative. Uh, as just a reminder, we use popcorn initiative. Uh, you take turns and you tell everybody uh, what you want, uh, who, who goes next afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so yes. uh, the three, uh, the five putties, oh. uh, three on one side and two are on the other, are making like a ring around the rosies around the family. They're, they're encroaching in. And then the little girl is terrified and says, why does this keep happening to me? I'm going to have so many sci-fi stories to write. Uh, guys, I think it's time that we show her what we got. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. we're we gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Ready? Ready. Uh, we, well, we, 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 I not can't quite. do it yet. <laughs> Why not? But I thought this was a simulation. I can't do an alpha. <gasps> no. Oh, that's absolutely true. I can't do it either. Yeah. <laughs> well, alpha can, he he can. Uh, this is our training system. We, he can, we actually do anything we want. Last time I shot fireballs out of my yeah. hand. And I can't it put it oh, profundo, so, Marvo. Yes, you're absolutely right. It's just like make, make believe. So we can pretend, we'll simulate what we'll do on the battlefield. Well, we mm -hmm. can morph. Yeah, Alpha will code it onto us, actually. So yes, we'll have, we can yeah. totally yeah. morph. Yeah. Are you guys ready? 
I'm, I'm ready. ready. All right. Ready? We, we, we're doing this? We're doing this. We're doing okay. It. It's more than time! Okay. last time except um you create a hurricane and you aim it towards those three putties and i will do my spinny thing in the middle of your hurricane and we can take out three at once while somebody else deals with uh the, civil oh. the civilians and you can handle this big pig dude yeah totally like a torpedo like a torpedo all pig right pedo. all right so um i'm gonna wait for her to do her eye of the hurricane thing to create pig hasn't shown up yet you've pig ordered hasn't him shown up yet of course. are we taking care of the putties Absolutely. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna do a, a hurricane whirlwind towards the putty, setting it up perfectly for Marv to do yeah. his torpedo. And as she does the, the little hurricane thing and she aims it at that, I'm gonna step inside a hurricane and I'm gonna pull out my, uh, my Iapetus claws and I'm gonna put it together, jump and lunge and spin inside her hurricane and just like try wow. to go through all three putties. We're kind of crazy. All right. Um, uh, yeah. So you're doing a teamwork attack on yes. Marv's turn. I wrote your name down to help you guys yeah. keep oh. track uh, this time. Oh. So uh, you roll 1d6. Cause 1d6? It's yeah, because it's combined. Oh, okay. And four? then you roll 1d6. Four. four. Yes. Four and four. Oh, no. No. I don't know what I rolled. You're gonna find out. All right. What? So uh, as you decide to team up, doing your whirlwind spin towards uh, there's a group of uh, two putties on the right and three putties kind of clustered together. What are you going after? Uh, I'm I'm trying to to get the tornado pointed down at those putties to mm -hmm. just blast them up first. And while they rise mm -hmm. up in the middle of the hurricane, I'm spinning through the hurricane to just pierce all three of them. Mm -hmm. uh, and as you uh, kind of raise yourself and you start spinning, uh, the family that's in the center of all this chaos is like their picnic stuff is going up in the air yeah. and like their tuna fish sandwich is like uh, the guy with the big, uh, the red, uh, what, like a uh, sleeveless top and the giant, it like hit him in the face and yeah. then they're like, looking at the other uh, putties, and then uh, you totally, uh, as you get close to a group of the two or three, three? Uh, the ones that are away from the family. They're, they're all around the family. Uh, There's the three. Uh, the three. Uh, as you uh, head towards those three, um, they're able to like scatter, uh, and you don't hit any of uh, them as you come in. Yeah! And then, <laughs> See that? Uh, because that cool, they right? kind of like moved out of the way, like bowling pins, except for without falling. Uh, you're you're not able to target them as well. Uh, All right, so that was Marv's turn. Who's next? That's for you do something. Eddie, let's take care of these three. Okay. All right, um, I'm gonna take out my my Cerberus disc. What if I ca use this to lift you to gain momentum, and you can do your thing? Okay. That you do. You lift me. <laughs> you lift me to gain momentum, and then I'm gonna drop down in front of them and use my Cobra HP to hit the right pressure points to take these buddies out. There's this giant Z in the middle of them. I feel like if I hit it right there, I might get them really good. Uh, you roll one d six. You roll one d six. It's almost like a bullseye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> crazy, right? <laughs> Five. Three. You, yeah, Eddie. Uh, uh, describe what you want to do again. So. Um, I'm gonna use my thing to like, he's gonna jump on it. Oh, you're your service, your service. Yeah. Yes, I'm gonna lay it right in front of the putties and get my rapid 
pressure point Cobra HP going on them. Which group are you targeting? The ones that they went after or <laughs> yeah. the other group? Yeah. yeah. The other the group. Three. Oh, the three. Yeah. All right. So uh, as you uh, lower yourself, you feel really grounded into the ground and very stable. And then all of a sudden, Eddie, with his like long arms and length, limbs, uh, uses that almost as a trampoline. And you actually feel the push. Uh, and you're able to push him, launch him high up into the air. Yes. And he has a cover HP strike that is very, very <laughs> precise. And he goes, <laughs> right? Um, and then. You guys do have skills. That's very strong. You actually uh, get two out of the three of them. Yeah! yeah. Wow. We did one. Andy. We did. You guys are we did. awesome. All right. We did it. We're, we're a good team. <laughs> I um, I'm going to also give you some like, Ranger uh, energy points for that. Nice. Win. Yay. Yeah. Also, the teamwork, right? Yes. Wow. So, who's next? Remember, I get turns two. I have two turns this round. All right, let's see what these putties are gonna do. Okay, so uh, the one that uh, was, you know, just watched its comrades go down is like, <laughs> and then like runs out behind the tree and then runs back out and brings uh, two more putties and then the pig. And so I'm gonna. Wow, that thing does look as ridiculous as you described it. <laughs> That is really cute. So this giant pig, and how does it talk? <laughs> like, like a pig. Like a pig. It's very, very big. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> all of a sudden, uh, no arms, like uh, no no real body. It's mostly a head. Yeah. Comes out from behind the tree, and uh, one of the civilians actually says they're still there at the picnic table watching everything happen. Uh, uh, the officer says, "Damn." I knew I shouldn't have been eating bacon. <laughs> uh, and the pig comes out and rears its head. I'm going to make a card for the out. pig. <laughs> Bad joke. It's going to backpedal my way out of that one. <laughs> I laughed. I laughed. Even I laughed. You have to laugh. Courtesy laugh. Why? Uh, uh, so this, I'm going to say these already went. And then we have pigs. A group of two putties, and then uh, whose turn? We had Marv, we had Vesper, and I'm gonna bring it back to you, Eddie, because you didn't go on your turn yet. You just assisted. Okay, this is getting now that the pudgy pig is here. I'm really concerned about our citizens yeah. who are, for some reason, right. not covered in tuna fish. <laughs> so I'm going to use my They're use my detective level. line leading skills. <laughs> To, to take them out of the area so they do not get hurt by the putties or the pigs yes. or tuna. Okay, what is yes. your deductive line that you skills like? Uh, it's a lot of this, and a lot of this, and a <laughs> let's get out of the area, because there's danger around. Roll d6? Or, no, two. Oh. And you have, what's your bonus? Can I help, like, scream? <laughs> well, I mean, you know what, with this, with uh, help, never mind. Yes, so you could help him. Getting more and you will get a plus one. If I fail, then yes. <laughs> but you will get help me. Yeah. You, you as a, a bonus, you get a plus one as you yes. do teamwork. Yes. Teamwork. Yeah. Let's do it, buddy. Okay. All right. So I roll one. Oh, Use you your supers, my team. Woo! Six. And, oh, and I want a super line lead. What he said. Go ahead. Oh, well, yeah. I, already, I already rolled. Oh. I got what a six. Six. Lightning bolt. Three. Plus, uh, plus one, plus one teamwork, plus one, plus super. Oh, it's twelve. Twelve. Nice. Twelve. Um. <laughs> so <laughs> as you uh, do this <laughs> kind of strange dance, uh, the little girl points at you. Oh, look! It's like a blue Power Ranger. I never seen this costume like that before. I don't know. And they just kind of, just like shock and all, gape at you. This, oh. Wait, guys, we want to get you out of here so you're not get hurt by the things that are going around. Yeah, we have some cool stuff over at this area where he's pointing uh, to. Uh, you're gonna want to go. Uh, I also rolled a six, so. Uh. But we oh. rolled two sixes. Yeah, but there's three of them. Uh, well, <sighs> we tried. We'll keep trying. All right. We want to make sure the sisters are safe. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna. Well. Break. I'd love to see how an expert would be able to handle this situation. Aisha, 
Can you show us what you got? Yeah, for sure. I, I think that um, I'm going to take it old school. Yeah. You know, you guys got all these fancy tricks, but I'm yeah. going to do... So like, there is Pudgy Pig uh -huh. and two, uh, a group of two and three putties. Yes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to need Jack's help, if that's possible. I'm going to sure. be your double yellow fella. Yes, and yes. it's going to be like yellow ranger power all day. You know? You know? Okay. <laughs> So what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab me from behind and we're gonna like spin me like a merry-go-round, right? And then I'm just gonna kick my legs, I'm gonna flail them out oh, and wow. just karate them. slap them. I, mean, I mean, it's old school, sure. no tricks needed. It's just slap, no slap, 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 slap. And then I'm gonna aim for the Z on the putty's chest. Oh, yeah, I, oh, I love that. I'm gonna award you some energy for- uh, Omega. Yes, yeah. okay, I, I, I say super. Super, yeah. all right. So yeah. that's gonna plus one. Uh, if you're doing teamwork, you yes. roll one d six. You roll one d six. I go super. Okay. Same time. Same yes. Time. Yeah. Uh, I got oh. a one. Oh. <laughs> you got a one. I got a two. That's two. Uh, that's three. Three, three for well, the Well, guess what? Wait, you're adding one to that's your two. super, right? Yes. So that's a two, and that's a three for a five. Okay. Yes. Plus two. Plus two. Oh. Plus two. Yes. Thank Plus you. Two. All right. So, uh, absolutely, <laughs> as you grab on to your other Yellow Ranger in partner, and who are you targeting? The, the putties. Uh, there's a group of two and three. Uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna go. We're gonna go big. Go big. All right. Go, go with three. All right. And so, as you uh, propel your way to the center of these putties, yes. and you grab on, and then you swing <laughs> around, and then the ye mighty Morphin Yellow Ranger yes. is kicking at all their faces, oh, and, you're, wow. and you're getting like a kind of like an uppercut. So they're going like, oh. Yeah. You know, it's like blue, a blue, 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 blue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So uh, you roll like 2d6 and you roll 2d6. <laughs> we roll 2d6. Okay. Oh, oh wow! Oh. <laughs> you first. I got two. You got two uh, lightning bolts? No. What do I got? Two no, got one. Two. Two. <laughs> two. 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 I got two. Two. I got a. I got a. I got a nat nine for eleven group. Okay, so eleven for the group. All right. Uh, and as you hit one putty, the other putty, the other putty, you completely take down all three of these putties. Yeah! Yellow! That Yellow was Ranger power! Wow. Wow. That was that old school. That's yeah. so Ranger. And we like kind of do a cheer. Yes! Yellow Ranger power! Let's go! Just because. Thank wow. goodness. Like Thank goodness you had that uh, super because I rolled a one and you rolled a one. But you oh. have the super, so. Thank goodness. Yeah. Yellow Rangers don't sweat. Think about it. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So, uh, Eddie, uh, Aisha's <laughs> gone this round. Aisha, whose turn is it next? I say that it is Chloe's turn. Chloe. Popcorn. All right, let's do this. Chloe's I'm gonna go it. in and uh, there's a group of two putties and Pudgy. How are the civilians doing? Uh, they're still just like so petrified about like what's going on. They do not want to move from the bench. Maybe they're in shock or something. Huh. Can I go over and check on them and see if they're okay? Absolutely. You should totally do that as the pink ranger. <laughs> I'm the, the pink ranger and I'm gonna check on them and see if they're okay because they are in a state of shock. Yeah, roll 2d6. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah. oh my oh, gosh! gosh. <laughs> she did yeah. it! She did it! 12! Oh, 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 yeah. oh, oh my goodness! Oh, 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 it's oh, the Pink oh, Ranger! Oh, 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 <laughs> and that, uh, that officer says, uh, Oh my goodness, Pink Ranger, how can I help you? How can I help you, good sir? You guys seem like you are a little bit scared. This is a crazy situation, and I want to make sure you guys are safe. Yes, I. I it's so chaotic. I never know what to do when these gray things show up. And is that a pig with no body? You know, today is just really weird. That is a pig with no body. Do you have a safe spot, Mister? <laughs> He's an officer, right? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> that you can take these other two civilians to? Absolutely. 
And he looks down at the little girl, Diana, who's just like big eyes wide, and then the other dude with the, you know, exposed <laughs> armpits, because it's the 90s. Yeah. And uh, he's like, I, I think we better uh, leave the situation. I think the Rangers have it taken care of. And they, uh, they go in the other direction. Away Sweet. from the tree where everybody seems to show up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Chloe. You say nice. the Nice. Nice. Yes. Chloe, whose turn is it next? Uh, I'm gonna popcorn. We have the two. Okay, yeah. To the three putties. There's two now. I uh, two. Two. Okay. So there's these uh, two putties. They watch <laughs> these <laughs> other uh, civilians. <laughs> and they, they looked at you because you just were. Uh, uh, talking to that officer, yeah. <laughs> and as you, uh, as they come in closer, you can, you get a good look at their faces. I don't know if you got a good look at putty faces before, maybe in a history book, but now you got a really good look. And they are just the most horrific thing. It's like they don't even really have have mouths. It's like their mouths are like shut close together. They don't have noses or eyes, and they're, you know, headed right towards your uh, your uh, your way. Uh, roll to defend. One or two? Two. Uh, eight. Ooh, eight. Yes. Uh, and so one actually uh, hooks its arms around the other and tries to, maybe it saw your cute little move thing, and it, it goes like this, and another putty is sticking its legs out, and it tries to, uh, you know, kick you in the face. Uh, however, uh, that other putty is just a little too heavy for the putty underneath, and they just fall on each other. That <laughs> 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 uh, don't seem nice, right? That so we got our best for Eddie, Aisha, Jack. What do you got? I'm popcorning it. Who's up? Jack. You. Oh, oh, Senor. <laughs> I am Jack. <laughs> Boss, how many opponents are there currently on the field? Only the big pit head? Um, two. So there are two putties. Mm. She, uh, uh, they were unsuccessful in their attack. Now it's your turn, but there's also the pig. I am going to turn to the historic and much celebrated Yellow Ranger Aisha Campbell. And I am going to suggest a teamwork attack. Okay. In which I use my Creus Hammer, Ooh. together with a flying attack from the OG Yellow Ranger. Yes. I will use my hammer as a platform to launch you towards our opponents. Okay. And your final attack is your call. My call? Oh, this is awesome. I'm gonna wind up my hammer. Okay. And pause for Aisha to jump upon the massive face. Oh, All right. Launch her. You uh, both roll a d6. Hopefully, uh, oh, you haven't tried this move before. Hopefully, it's good. Five. Four for nine. Um, as you uh, bring your hammer around and call Aisha to like hop aboard to launch her, um, as she lands on your hammer. Uh, you're taken by surprise as you haven't quite done this attack before. What? And she, gotta be the GM. <laughs> and uh, she just loses her balance a little bit, and so she just oh. kind of hops back. Whoa, Yikes. Jack! Wow. Sorry, that back. wasn't the MC Hammer I oh, hoped. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. It's what training's about, right? Yeah, yeah we right. make mistakes. Yeah. So, I mean, sure. Oh. I guess. Uh, Aisha, I think it's your attack. Okay. Um, I think... No, she, she went the, this round. That oh, was okay. a support attack, boss. Come on! <laughs> uh, it's a totally not her bro. All right. <laughs> All right, so, uh, Puddy Pig's turn. Oh, guys. Uh, actually looks at you oh, and, what? like... Typecast. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! Oh, really? <laughs> so wrong. Uh, uh, looks at, tor turn towards Jack with its big old hammer, uh, looks at itself, looks at you, and kind of gathers all its like strength and like squeals, charging at you. <laughs> Feed him the rotten sandwiches. <laughs> the rotten tuna. <laughs> 
Uh, roll two, uh, two d6 <laughs> to defend. For me? Yeah. Two d6 on the D. You Heavy got D. this, Jack! Heavy D! Come on! Please! Don't call D. Uh, that's a six. Ow. Uh, uh, the pig uh, has has tusks, right? Yeah. And it kind little of... Little ones. The yeah, little baby. The little baby ones. Yeah. Yeah. So it rears its giant head back and like opens its mouth and kind of points its tusk in your direction. <laughs> and then, uh, and like tries to sink those tusks uh, uh, into your direction. Ooh. Uh, for 18 points of damage. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Wow. Again. Oh, man. All right. Uh, new round. Yeah. yeah that new is cool. round. Ooh. Live and learn, guys. We're new live and learn. round. And while uh, this is happening, I'm going to try to contact Alpha really quick. Sure. Yes. Alpha 55, uh, I just want to make sure. What's the progress like on the scam? Ah. We are almost, uh, I've, I've detected some interesting news. We've located, uh, we've narrowed down the energy to, uh, we've narrowed down the energy to Europe. Ooh, Europe, that's not on the moon. Or is it? Wow, it must be a trick. Like, you know, Finst I told you guys, like they could come up with anything. Now, what do we know about Finster? We know that he's super creative. We know that he's can create things. I mean, where in Europe would we be able to do that? Like, where do you think? Uh, well, let's let's just ha hold a pause on this training. Alpha okay. 55, can you hold a pause on this training session? Absolutely. And so all of a sudden the the putties are like, bing, bing. and then the pig is like. <laughs> <laughs> he looks funny. Anyways, yes. um, <clears throat> as you were saying. Yes. Well. This is the thing, he can create anything. He's a very creative guy. So we yeah. gotta like put our minds together. We gotta think about where would be like the one place in Europe that has like, where you create things, where there's probably a lot of art. Where Paris. Paris? Paris, Paris? Paris is a good place. No, no, it's the greatest yeah. city for art in the history of Earth. It's Norway. It's Florence, Italy. Oh. Italy, oh. It, Rome? Rome will work, Florence. Didn't the book I have a book on Rome. Rome. Didn't the book have Rome? Wait, wait, it wait, did. Maybe, maybe we should cancel this training session and maybe afterwards we could do this again. Yeah, of course. This, this is Absolutely. a lot of fun, but I think yeah. we should probably get back to our mission at hand. Absolutely. Alpha 55, turn me into a giant Cerberus. <laughs> sure, that doesn't hurt really. Vesper, you, you want to be a three-headed dog? Who, who wouldn't want to be a three-headed dog? Well, Definitely. you've got to eat a lot, and you can only, well, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> I just do like a giant like sweet kick to all of the putties. Sure, and they're like, like frozen, so no, they just like uh, fall over, and they turn into clay. Uh, Pudgy Pig is just a little like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to press some buttons and uh, try to open the door that we came out from. Ah, awesome. Peter, are you attempting to Open the... exit the pocket dimension? Very well. And so uh, a small cloud poof comes from the sky and a black uh, opening shows up. A cloud All right. poof? A cloud Shall poof. We? Let's do it. Let's do it, Rangers. Let's get out of here. These Rangers seem to like marshmallow textured clouds. So I, I tried <laughs> to add a little here and there. <laughs> I like it too. And so there's a little door you walk through. Demorph to my Power handsome down. top heavy ranger form. All right. <laughs> Demorph. Demorph. Oops, sorry. Demorph. De sorry. Demorph. Everybody is demorph. <sighs> and uh, you're back. Uh, you've all walked through the little doorway on the cloud. Poof. Uh, and you're in the hallway. And Alpha is. Uh, bumbling around the central control area of the ship. So Alpha, you said you found a location somewhere in Europe? Absolutely, I continue to scan throughout Europe. Ah, Italy, Italy. it seems. Uh, well, I mean, that's fantastic, but also yeah. there's one thing that we forgot to say. Our ship's not currently functional and we can't really be teleported anywhere outside of Angel Grove. Well, like I said, guys, I mean, I oh, do right. have a saber to yeah, yeah. Sorry. I totally forgot about that. Yeah, but can I morph? Am I able to? I'm not able to just yet. Uh, you feel compelled by all these other rangers around you. Uh, maybe you see the same camaraderie that your own team has and wow. makes you uh, feel something. 
Yeah, I, I feel all warm and fuzzy inside, guys. I feel like really 90s and like <laughs> like really happy, but I, I think I can morph. I think I have the energy to do it. You guys want you, want, you guys want me to call on my Zord? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Uh, in the time ship, uh, maybe not quite. However, I can teleport you down to Angel Grove. Uh, maybe Fine. maybe just teleport us just straight down, though we don't get any attention from people. Yes. Maybe we go straight Perfect. to Angel Grove. Then. Currently, we are above the Angel Grove Mountains. Okay. Very Perfect. well. He hides in there, so it's perfect. Uh huh. Uh, That's and, convenient. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so Alpha teleports you guys down. You feel that same familiar beam energy rushing through. And you feel like your your color, right? Your ranger yeah. color as you go down. And you are underneath the ship, but you can't see the ship because it is cloaked. And you're just in the dusty, dry Angel Grove Mountains. Oh man, this is going to be exciting. I've always wanted to see this. This is yeah. going to yeah. be a real emotional moment for me. I'm ready. <laughs> So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Here we go. Sabertooth Tiger! Sabertooth Tiger! And we're gonna take a quick five minute break, guys! Whoa! Whoa. Five minute morphing break. <laughs> <laughs> five minute break, and we'll be right back here in Angel Grove with the original Mighty Morphin Ooh. Yellow Ranger. Stay tuned for Hyper Force. <laughs> What's up everybody, Zach here, the GM of Valiant Vanquished here on Hyper RPG every single Wednesday night at 7 p.m. So here's the thing, Valiant Vanquished is the only comic book canon RPG on Twitch. And when I say canon, I mean everything that happens on our RPG could show up in the comic books. And we're actually working with amazing writers like Eric Heiser. He is an Academy Award nominated writer who is writing for Valiant right now and writing all the future Valiant movies. And we have meetings to talk about where's this show going and how does it tie into the overall Valiant Universe comic books. Now, if you're not reading Valiant comic books, well, you should be, because they're amazing. They're so good. And we're building this show up to tie into Harbinger Wars 2, which comes out next year. So everything that happens on this show is tying directly into the comic books, and what's happening in the comic books ties directly into here. Not only that, the show is tied directly with Valiant Comics officially, so they give us discounts on comic books. Uh, we do all sorts of fun giveaways. We have uh, Karen, who is a Psyot. Now, if you don't know what Psyots are, do a quick Google. You'll figure it out really quick. Who can conjure things by drawing them. We have Jay, who is a man who used to be 
heart bloodshot. You'll have to look up that as well. It's, it's all good stuff. You should look it up. But he can control certain chemical balances within other people's bodies. We have Rin. We don't know much about her yet, and I'm not going to tell you any more about her. And we have Noah, who can read people's minds. We used to think she was a sci Now we realize that she is actually part of a magical chain of Bruja, and she has a Loa attached to her that allows her to be really strong and beat the shit out of people. It's absolutely great. And we have DK, who can control the molecular density of his body and get extremely heavy or extremely light. All of it's absolutely amazing. They're extremely young and new at what they're doing, so they mess a lot of stuff up. They're trying their best to be heroes, but this universe is completely unforgiving. These guys don't know what to do with the situation that they're put in, and they often accidentally make the wrong choices. But this universe is not going to be light on them. Uh, people can die. Bad things happen. It gets really serious, but it's also extremely funny. All of our cast members are amazing comedians. Uh, they're all really great. You should definitely check out the show every single Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Hey, everybody. I'm Burt Jennings. I am Kim Cannon. I'm Emma Fife, and we are the cast of Pencils, Pencils and, and Parsecs. Parsecs, our Star Wars RPG. Here on Hyper RPG, we use the Edge of the Empire role-playing system. I run the, the show. I try to make a story that's uh, fun inside the Star Wars universe, but also has a lot of grit. I play Kilara Faye. She is a Mandalorian smuggler and the captain of the Yojimbo. And I play Io Corvica, a Mary Allen assassin with secrets. Other cast members on the show include Hector Navarro, who plays Herg, a Tagorian. We got Joe Starr, who plays a uh, space pirate. And finally, we have Keith Silverstein, who you might know as the voice of Torbjörn in Overwatch, rounding out our crew as Caleb Seth. Hashtag light. Hashtag dark. What does that mean? That means that you can contribute using bits, tips, subscribers as you're watching the show uh, to affect the story as it's happening. And it's really cool because we have different aligned characters. We also have different tiers of both light and dark. And as those are unlocked, the lights in the room themselves change. So sometimes when it's really dark, it turns really red. And when it goes to the light side, it turns blue. You know, whatever, it's cool. Hashtag dark. Hashtag light. And though we are building our own continuity within the Star Wars universe and telling our own unique story, you guys can jump in at any point. All of our previous episodes are posted on YouTube for subscribers. You have access to our new VODs immediately. However, if you want to catch up on the show, again, we've got a playlist for all of season one, and we are now six episodes into season two. You could also listen to all of our episodes uh, on iTunes and SoundCloud. And if you're excited about that, Star Wars, check us out 9 p.m. Pacific Center Time every Friday here on Hyper RPG. May, May the, the force, force be, be with, with you. you. Nailed it. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back. Thank you for uh, tuning in for that break. And once again, every single week, I want to tell you guys how amazing you are for doing the fan art. Uh, it's yeah. so cool. Those fan art videos are really fun to put together to see all the stuff. If we had more fan art last week than any week yet. What? I did yeah. it like twice. There was just so much fan art. Thank you guys you are viewers. amazing. Thank you, Nathan Blue. Yes. Awesome. Oh, you guys are so Nathan. amazing. Make me skinnier. Even skinnier. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> so, thank you guys so much. Uh, quick reminder, we are only six subscribers away from giving away um, Aisha signed, uh, signed cards at the end Call of the night. Friends. Or else so, I'll take it. <laughs> or not. <laughs> That's why with the cards go every session. I gotta print more ones. It's because of you, Peter. you keep taking them home. Thanks, yeah. Peter. Uh, but no, you, we'll give those away at the end of the night at six more subs. So keep those subs rolling in. Thank you guys so much for supporting this content. It means the world to us. We work really hard to bring you as entertaining, as interactive content as absolutely possible. So we really do appreciate your support and uh, checking out the show. So I'm going to give it back to Malika here. You guys have fun. Woo! All right. Reunited and it feels Where did we just leave off? Uh, the two yellow rangers are having a little dance underneath the ship. Uh, Alpha says, remember your mission. Where would you like to go? I've been able to track down. Yes, yes, it seems the energy is around the capital city of Italy. Well, bef before we do that, um, Aisha, I hate I hate to put you on the spot here, yeah. but when I remember some of my history, I remember that sometimes your Zords were actually able to morph themselves into other Zords. That's true. It's absolutely true. Yeah. Can, but... can we can we see that happen when when you call your Zord? Can we yeah. See that? Oh, you want to see it again? You, but do you want to see the morphed? I want to see the Zord. I want to see a Zord. Me too. I didn't know Zords could do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll I'll give it a whirl. All you right. Guys ready? Yeah. yeah. All right. Saber Tooth Tiger Griffin. Power. What? Oh, 
Yeah, the crowd goes wild. It's pretty awesome. It changes, and then all of a sudden, it's like barreling forward, and it has a head. And, what? And uh, um, Alpha's like, yes, Aisha, that is the saber-toothed tiger griffin thunder sword. <laughs> it can That's turn mouthful. into enemies yeah. nice. and project yeah. fireballs. Yes. I have yet to witness these fireballs. You know what? Give me fire, uh, Saber Two Tiger Griffin Thunder Zord power. <laughs> and then it, it just like it's like it just like lights up. Yes. You know? oh, All that's right. Awesome. Fire power. <laughs> and Rangers, more help. seats. However, we we must get back to our mission. Right. As I would enjoy seeing all the Zords. However, the energy. Yes. I have been able to scan both of the books that Vesper was uh, was able to was able to procure, and it seems like the energy is more concentrated around the capital city of Italy. It's a very ancient city. Wow, All we right. gotta go, guys. Let's go. Let's, let's go. You guys get in and off to Rome. How do we get in that thing? You know what? You just gotta jump in. Like you gotta use your heart. Oh, you gotta like clear your mind. Oh, she's think talking, a happy just thought. Yeah, yeah. You just think a happy thought, like the happiest uh, thought. She's just and explaining you're in. and we're already in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> think of like 90 pair, 90s parachute pants or like break dancing. I always knew that these swords had bathrooms, so I'm going to Double X my butt up into the very discreet restroom <laughs> in the Griffin Zord. Very interesting. <laughs> it's Aisha. really tight. Yes. I'm very uh, adept at technology, and mm -hmm. I was wondering if you would let me drive your Zord. Uh, Actually, wait, 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 wait. I don't know if you're ready. I wait, mean, I mean, I, I've only, I've only dro driven my Zord. Well, while we're I here, mean, I was gonna ask. Yeah. Um, Vesper, maybe you could do a, a reading on this Zord. Maybe you could make us Zords of our own someday. That sounds great. Do you mind if I look Go into right. your Zord's interiors? I think you should look into the Zord's interiors. All right. <laughs> I will create notes when we're on our way to Italy. Yes. Uh, so um, this being one of the fastest, if not the fastest Zord, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. I know. Um, suddenly, uh, you feel a once you're all secure. Yes, a lurch seat belts, guys. Forward, and uh, there, this this sword actually has a window. You can kind of see what's going on past you, and you are very quickly able to pass through the Angel Grove Mountains, across the desert, and across the American Midwest, asserting to cross the ocean. It's going so fast. It's just like. This, this is, like is so cool! <laughs> uh, meanwhile, Vesper, uh, roll a d6. See what you can figure out about the Zord. One. And plus one. Plus one. For two. Is two. Only Vesper? Yeah, because she said she was going to investigate. Oh, right? I'm sorry. sorry. You can, you can sorry. investigate too. I, I yes. usually call Vesper. Vesper <laughs> hey! Sorry, boss. Get out of here. Sorry. Get out of here. Sorry. Uh, How's it going, Vesper? Vesper? I'm here so can I, can I assist? So, um, yeah. Sure. So far, I've written down Saber Tooth Tiger Hyper Griffin Thunder Zord. Mm -hmm. oh. go, go ahead. Try to assist her. Six. Yes! Mm. So, uh, that's right. You're kind of climbing through uh, this very ancient robotic uh, kind of landscape. You know, it's nothing like you've ever seen before. Uh, it just doesn't feel familiar. And also, you don't recall that you've seen anything like it at school. Mm -hmm. You know, the shape is different. And um, however, you uh, remember. Uh, you you actually see a, a corridor and uh, you uh, open it on um, Jack. <laughs> He's in the bathroom. <laughs> uh, 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 and uh, but kind of beyond the la lavatory, uh, you just kind of notice just some some yellow ranger energy coursing through the Zord <coughs> as it's moving as fast as possible. Vesper, check this out. This is something I've never seen before. What is that? It's like the Zord is like harnessing the yellow Power Ranger energy. Huh. Okay. Is there a way for us to 
do that? There has to be. If they figured it out, we're going to do it too. Okay. Good Sh find. Should we take some pictures? <laughs> oh, that's a great idea. I you can do it any time. It smells like <laughs> lavender in here. Take a picture with my morpher. I'll do it with the side in front of the energy. Ready? Uh, roll a d6. Uh-huh. <laughs> Five. Woo! So just like that. Plus one. It, absolutely. <laughs> so just like uh, that device that you had created from episode one, um, it actually shoots out a beam towards uh, Chloe. It hits Chloe, but it's just light. It doesn't hurt you or anything and it opens up it scans the room this way and then this way and then it kind of takes a, like a 3d model picture and then it creates a hologram that shrinks down and then goes into your uh morpher and is stored there great all right i think i got what we came here for so let's Sweet. go find the food oh my gosh yes i wonder what she has maybe like special yellow gummy pack. bears Gummy bears. Gummy bears. Oh yeah, that's good. Let's find Gummy that bears. area. Let's do it. Uh, meanwhile, <laughs> if, uh, if any if any of you are still, uh, it would be Eddie and uh, Eddie, Aisha Eddie, yeah. and Peter. Uh, if you look through kind of the dashboard of the Zort, it's uh, finally finished crossing the Atlantic Ocean. It's uh, heading towards the Mediterranean Ocean, uh, up through Northern Africa, and so while we have you, up the uh, boot. I wanted to ask you, um, what are the origins of your powers? Because we we kind of got our morphers on the fly. We don't really know what all this is all about. Yeah. Um, well, when I was given the powers, you know, three three of the the previous rangers they went to a peace conference. Three really? rangers went to the peace conference yeah. at the same time. Three rangers went to the peace conference. What a coincidence! And yes. luckily for me and my friends from Stone Canyon, we were able to like win a ninja contest. So obviously we had skills. And so you're um, part ninja? Huh? You're part ninja. Oh, Chloe, part you're ninja. back. Chloe, you scared me there. Hey. Where'd you come from? You're part ninja? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm, that's wait. Crazy. Are you eavesdropping on us, Chloe? Yeah, she knows. Listen, that, that uh, one's tricky. <laughs> so I, I just, I read something about a morphin grid supplying our power yes. and I was wondering if, um, well, we have two amazing technical minds in our group and maybe you could enlighten Eddie. He's, he's great with technology too. Maybe we could harness the power of the morphin grid to use it for maybe our own zords. Yeah, else. absolutely, absolutely. That's a great point, Marv. Yeah. Side note, my mind is more Bro, amazing. Jack! <laughs> You're here <laughs> too? You're here? Oh, my God! I think I am. <laughs> I thought you were using the bathroom. What, you were quick. That was like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm sitting in the bathroom, but I can still talk to you. Yeah, you're right. Okay, okay. marvelous Marvin. This, okay? Right. Mm, All right, anyways. suddenly you feel the Zork oh. stop. Oh. Whoa. Oh. I'll tell oh. you later. Right. Uh, <laughs> when you uh, look down, it's uh, it's at the edge of the forest, uh, overlooking uh, the city of Rome, just wow. on the outskirts. Whoa! Oh, nice. um, so um, this is ancient Rome. Yeah, ancient How Rome cool. it is. Got a great view of it. Wow! It's so old looking. <laughs> but remember. You are in 1994, so there are giant famous landmarks like the Colosseum, but they are in ruins, and it seems like a very touristy era. There is like a main like piazza, square, just uh, everything. There's buses going what? on tours, oh, uh, is groups a... of tourists uh, Guys, lining I'm, up. I'm usually not the one to say this, but we really shouldn't mess with anything in yeah. this time. Yeah. I'll get it very fun. careful. What, what do you is mean, a Chloe? liqueur store? Uh, absolutely. What did you say? What is a liqueur store? A liqueur store? Yes. <laughs> ah, it a, is... A liqueur store? <laughs> ah, I understand why you may be confused about a liqueur store. <laughs> oh! A liqueur store. <laughs> uh, as the people of your time are very health and wellness minded. Yes. So I assume it? it has something to do with licorice, which licorice? is the candy I've heard from this time. I <laughs> gotta try that, Alpha. 
I have I, to. I, I, I think it may impair your uh, behavior. Oh, it's uh, something yeah. you should yeah, we, we stay probably shouldn't avoid. Do that. We're should, not on a mission. None that's of us are old enough. No, Let's that's stay true. away from the licorice. Chloe, I think 800 years of human history has taught us that candy is not Good. the answer to your problems. Whoa, yeah. Jack, yeah. you're not my dad, so. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, I she's think... sassy. That well, you know what, Chloe, then crazy. go ahead and like enjoy it. your liquor store. Maybe, maybe, maybe one bad thing at a time. We've already got our candy. Now let's go find this guy. Where, well, this place is a big place. How are we you gonna find, find him? We gotta find Finster. Uh, Alpha 55, wait, Alpha 55? Uh, yes, absolutely. I, Actually, Alpha D5, could I do an energy reading of this area and maybe point us in the direction that we need to go? Marv, absolutely. Oh no, I I see multiple energy readings. Multiple. I see two points of energy that match the scans we detected from the book. They are also crossing the Atlantic Ocean. It's almost as what? if they're headed for the same direction the same path that we took from Angel Grove. They Wait. are also headed towards Italy. What, if they're headed towards Italy, are they, are they, how, how, how long are they until they're gonna be arriving in our location? Very soon. Guys, I think it's, I, we, we better get ready. Yes. And I see another source of energy near the Colosseum. It seems underground. What? Oh, what, what, what do you think? What do you think we should do, Miss Campbell? I think it's I think it's Rita's monster maker, possibly. <gasps> so do we? Do you think we should head there first and cut them off? Or is... I think so because if we are able to shut him down, then he could probably he's obviously calling his team. So if we could, you know, able to shut him down, we can cut the connection. So they won't know where to where to find us. They won't know to find him. Eddie, what do you think about this theory? I think that's a good idea because if there is an energy inside of that Colosseum yes. and we're here for it, these ones that are following us could be going from the same place. I say we roam to the Colosseum and check it out. Hey. Hey. And, right on, right on. and since there's an energy there, I'm pretty sure you guys can get more information about finding your own energy. So maybe oh. one day you can find your own Zord. Yeah, yeah let's do that. I mean, that's just a thought. Miss Campbell, we need Zords so badly. I know. All right, I let's make our way there. Gotta earn them, but. All right, as you, you guys, uh, <laughs> sh as uh, Aisha shows you how to uh, leave the Zord. You just, you know, we thought a good thought to get in. Think a bad thought and you just fall out. I mean, it's oh. real easy. Think okay. something bad. No! Oh! 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 <laughs> and uh, uh, there's a, uh, a, 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 a you, you land right outside the uh, the forest and it is uh, the Zord is recalled. It slips away into the jungle, yeah. right? What did you think about? Um, uh, on uh. the outskirts of the uh, the the city of Rome, there are many tourists. They're bustling about. Just you know, like they are looking at maps. And some of them, there's also daily life, people driving around in cars. And then also uh, in front of you to your right, there is a, a bus and there are a lot of tourists kind of milling about, uh, slowly uh, trying to get onto the bus. I thought of a world without machines. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is pretty sad. I yeah. have a world without... Wait, can we have to like... Uh, people are walking into that thing. Maybe we just walk into that thing too? Yeah. Sure. Does Let's that thing take us underground though? Maybe. Well, we can go in. We'll act all touristy as we walk in, so not cause any distraction or. Well, yeah, we, we could actually just ask where it's headed. <laughs> I just oh. realized. I do. <laughs> yeah. That's a good point. Uh, hey, 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 you there? Uh huh. All and right. uh, you catch the attention of a, a blonde woman with uh, long hair. She's a middle-aged. Hi, hi. Uh, where is this thing taking you guys? Bus. Oh, bus. Ah, the bus. Absolutely. So uh, this route, it takes you through all the popular tourist attractions in Italy. I'm so excited to see all the Roman sculptures. Yeah, me too. Does yeah. it happen to lead to a Colosseum? Colosseum. Colosseum. Oh, Colosseum. Colosseum. oh I, I wanted to avoid that place. But yes, I do think there is a stop there. However, I'm not getting off. I heard that, you know, horrible things happen there in the past. Horrible things. Horrible, horrible things. things. That's uh, where we need to go, guys. I yeah. think we need to go to this Colosseum. Awesome. Let's get on. Let's do it. Uh, uh, so you uh, make your way past. Uh, thank you. What was this... your name? Oh, my name is uh, Arlene. 
Arlene, nice to meet you. Yes, Pleasure, my Arlene. name is Arlene. Thank you. Thank you. And I walked um, on inside the bus. Uh, so you uh, sit onto the bus and it starts moving. It's very full. There are a lot. This is a touristy kind of bus, <laughs> as it is uh, making different stops in uh, Rome. It enters the city, and you get a good view of people. You know, just living their daily life. People riding their bicycles. Wow. You know, sipping coffee it's at the espresso bar. You know, people in their uh, little cars, small little Italian alleyways. Just all the things. It's a nice. Day. It's about uh, lunchtime, so people are out and they're eating, they're having a good time. Some people are drinking wine, and then uh, as you kind of make your way to the third stop, it uh, it stops right outside the guys, uh, Colosseum. Guys, I call a see it. Hey, guys, this is what I'm learning. Uh, so Arlene uh, notices you got. Oh, you guys are interested in the Colosseum? Yes. We are. Fans yes. of gladiators, are you? Yeah. Yes. Big fans. Uh, uh, so you guys, um... Yeah, we, we get out of the bus and we walk on in. Mm -hmm. oh, guys. Maybe as we're walking in, we should make sure nobody else comes in here. Uh, oh, look at that. They have the... How convenient. They have a sign that says, do not enter. Let's just put this <laughs> in the entrance. Uh, there, uh, well, some of the tourists that got off the bus well with you, uh, well, some of them are going up to a gelato vendor. Uh, they've got all sorts of classic flavors of gelato right outside the Coliseum. Uh, and then another uh, group of the people who came off the bus with you, uh, they seem to be gathering for a tour, and there's this guy wearing a bright uh, green shirt and he has a sign uh, and it, it says uh, uh, Catacomba di Roma, uh, Catacombe di Roma and, it says, and he says yes come see the famous Roman catacombs. I'm in line with the tourists for the gelato. Okay. Wait, wait. Uh, I'm already there. We gotta stick together. <laughs> we gotta make sure first of all that if things do happen to escalate, civilians are gonna be safe from I mean, from any danger. Right, so right. Agreed, Marv. Agreed. How, yeah. how should we do that, especially if this guy here is telling everybody to go where we need to go? Do you think that maybe you and I, Jack, could just play like old times? We'll pretend that, uh, pretend that we're cops. Sure, Marv. Let's create a diversion. <laughs> yeah, let's, uh, let's make sure that no one comes in. How does that sound? Let's do it. Uh, hello everyone. I I am uh, with uh, my I am with the Interpol, and we this place Interpol. is no safe. No safe. You, my friend, you are lying to these people. I will tell your supervisor. A Russian. Ah. What? Yes. <laughs> I'm Russian from Interpol. <laughs> Russian cop. Uh, Russian from Interpol. I yes, am. Uh, my name is Massimo. I am from Rome. How may I assist you? Uh, yes, I, I Unless will... there's this guy, he's tall, he has uh, dark hair and a, uh, a thick beard. He seems to hold himself in a very proud way. Look, we, we hear bad things happen here. We want to make sure everyone's safe. So please, you, you are friend. We need your help. Can you help us? I am with Interpol. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, roll a d6. <laughs> what are you trying to accomplish here? Trick this guy? I'm, I'm trying to oh, charm I'm him into helping us so that way Charm no him comes. with your charisma? Yeah. Plus one. All right. And I'm gonna super, super charm him because I don't want to fail this. Okay. Very well. Ooh, good thing. Seven? Seven? Seven is not bad. Seven. Uh, Seven. Yes, my name is uh, Massimo, and uh, I'm about to start a tour. It's going to start in about three minutes yes, Massimo, of the I Roman catacombs. Uh, yes, the catacombs. Are you for, familiar with the catacombs? Yes, very familiar. Catacombs. It, it is not safe. We are here to make sure that uh, my friend here, please help me out, friend. <laughs> please. All we I want to do is <laughs> to make the Kumbakata safe. Hey, let me. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, yes, please, please. <laughs> this, is this is my friend from also Interpol. I am from the, the Work Russia. Work as a team, guys. Hello. Work as a team. Yes, we, we want to make sure everyone's safe. That is all, right? If you do not make sure everybody is safe, I make sure you are not safe. Yes. <laughs> so please help us. You tell people, no, come 
come in. We, <laughs> we go inside. We make sure everything is structurally safe. We get everyone out. You make sure no one come in. We you have this convenient sign that says do us, not enter. Help us make sure everything inside is structurally safe and make sure your bones are structurally safe. This is correct. <laughs> we will make sure that here in Roma Grove, that building is not supposed to be over there. Yes. I just came back with a bunch of gelato for everyone. Oh, great! Oh, gelato! Yeah. Thanks! Oh. Oh. Like oh, you, you, you have you missed so much. Yes. Yes. Oh, oh okay. por favore, yeah. pistachio! Oh, if you not have one, I do have mine. Oh, I'll have two. And pistachio? Si! Okay, My yeah. favorite! Oh, pistachio! <laughs> I love pistachio too, it's like the best, right? They don't oh, have steak flavored gelato. <laughs> it's like the best gelato you've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. Sorry, guys, oh. I don't know, no one came over me. That was... My friends, we have to get back to our mission <laughs> uh, about right now. So, yes. friend, please. I, I will sh assure you, catacombs is very safe. It yes. is an ancient. Why am I copying your accent? I actually speak Italian, but I'm trying not to be offensive. <laughs> 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 Um, so yes, my, <laughs> uh, yes, my name is Massimo, and I will show you that the catacombs are very safe. They are an ancient burial ground. Many, yes. many dead bodies lie down here. However, now it is completely safe underground, this ancient city of which we are, we are so proud to call home. We are just doing our job, and uh, your supervisor, he contacted us to make sure everything's safe. That is all that it is. You are doing your job, I'm doing my job, my friend. Very well, uh, do you need me to navigate the catacombs for you? Yes! You yes. Get rid of the civilians! Yes. Sure nobody enter. If you want to help, you can help by staying out here. Hold this sign instead of that sign. Give me that sign, please. Please no give me boy, that sign. Uh, do we ever... Uh, 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 what? what? We, we, yes, so <laughs> we do. Uh, yes, what? Please help us navigate the catacombs. Wait, Jack, if you... After the navigate the catacombs, we have an extra civilian to save. Marvin, you are doing an Eastern European accent. <laughs> it makes no sense. I'm not even from Earth, man. I don't know what the accent sounds like. I know that. <laughs> Go okay. with it. Okay, okay. Uh, all right. Um, Actually, yes. You help us. You show us Thor. I, yeah, let's go inside, my friend. Yeah, we pay uh, them At the time. very least, uh, allow me to... Very well. Where am I? <laughs> the accent's really contagious. I know, I know. My, my Russian uncle will be so proud of me. Um, um, very well. Uh, I have. I will be able to postpone the tour uh, for perhaps uh, maybe 15 minutes at most. However, the tourists, the tourists are expecting to go through these tours with me and my supervisor. He, he needs me to get as many groups as possible through the Roman Catacombs. And that's what he tell you. He tell us different things. Let but me we give you inside. a map oh, okay. so that you will know your way. All right, thank you. So uh, Massimo <laughs> hands you a map of the place. And uh, it's, it's pretty cool. It has crypts. It has uh, three archways and uh, many uh, tunnels that are just all over the place. And then uh, Massimo says, ah, you need to know the entrance. And he kind of walks you down some steps and shows you an entrance. It's a very dark and it uh, curves along underneath, underground, the, uh, the away from the Colosseum. Thank you, my friend. Mm -hmm. I will tell my supervisor to talk to your supervisor. Say you did very good job. She don't break your bones today. Let's go inside. Mm, to be determined. <laughs> Come on, that's better. And as we go in, I'm gonna put the sign that says "Do not enter" right there. Just yes. Drop mm -hmm. it down. Walk on inside. <sighs> okay. Uh, as you uh, walk through the catacombs, right ahead of you, you see a light, like somebody has a torch, and they have uh, run down kind of the hall in front of you and turned the, to the right, and it's like you can hear this shuffling and muttering to itself uh, and as the light is moving farther and farther down the hall to the right at, you know it turned you guys see that uh, someone's already yeah. in here yeah. well do you think it's a civilian no i don't think so i mean the guy was still waiting there to bring people on tour so 
I think I think it's something we need to investigate. Okay. Let's move ahead. Okay, I'm gonna pull out my uh, my hyperblade bastard just to hold, mm -hmm. just to have it. Just to yeah. Be safe. <laughs> and then. Ding, 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 ding. All right. And then I will I will shine I will shine a light to to li to light our path. Oh, absolutely. So uh, as you uh, continue down, uh, you make a right, and then I think Chloe, you want to make a D six roll. I'm gonna make a roll. What? Don't worry. Wait, Chloe. no, no. She's she's the sneakiest out of all of us. Maybe she can be scout ahead. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm eating my ice she's pretty stuffed. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let me show you. Strawberry. <laughs> oh, no. Really? Two plus one, though, because I'm stealthy, right? I don't yeah. Know. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, you, uh, you see the figure that's going away. It's a, it's just a gray body, and it's like scuttling away uh, down the hall. What is it, Chloe? Guys, I just saw Buddy. A what? what? Yeah, let's follow it. Okay. Okay. Let me know we're here. Let's do it. Let's go. All right. So as you follow the uh, gray, strange body <laughs> down the hall, uh, it turns uh, to the right again. But you uh, you hear more. <laughs> we heard that sound <laughs> in the simulation, guys. Yeah. I Look. take out my server's axe just to have it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're gonna get into That's a pretty much crazy than mine. situation. Should we morph up now? Uh, no. I just no, don't think that we should, should escalate the situation. Maybe if should things happen and we need to, we'll morph then. You have your hyper blaster in your Yeah, this is for safety. <laughs> you, you, can, you can have one too if you'd like. We I... are in the Roman catacombs. We do <laughs> not need to morph. <laughs> what we what can we do in here? What? We're gonna bounce against the rock wall? No, we are strong. As time force officers, let's proceed on a normal investigation. Except for you, Aisha. Okay. Because you're a power ranger. <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, uh, so you you guys heard got that uh, creature turned to the right, and there are more. Right, um, I'm gonna get out uh, my twin dagger. Do you, you want to take a look? You're the sneakiest out of all of us. Okay, I'm gonna jet around the corner and just peek my little head in and see what's going on. Sure. Jet, stealth, crawl. Stealthily. Like a ninja. Ninja. I'm gonna stealth ninja. this one. Okay, cool. Oh my gosh. Oh no, that's the exact same roll. Three. <laughs> roll again. Oh, no. oh better. Five. Um, as you turn the corner, you uh, you open upon a room, and you're just like peeking your eyes over. You haven't even like really gone around the corner, and then all of a sudden you see three. Putties and a uh, a lit room, and then you see a like a creature, a man, but it's actually got white fur and like a dog's head oh. and ears. It's wearing a blue apron and it's uh, running its fingers along the frescoes in the room, and then it's looking at uh, three big arches and it's made of skulls and it's muttering to itself. Ah, yes. He could, Lord said he never could have appreciated me. I am a creator. I am an artiste. Ah, he didn't even notice when I ran away. At least in Rome, they appreciate art. What do you see, Chloe? So that's what you see as Eddie, you're... what, do you, what see? do you make of this? Well, Chloe's looking at it. Chloe, what do you see? Oh, uh, Tell us. Guys, good news and bad news. Okay. Good news, I found something. Bad news is it's the guy who creates all this stuff. It's the guy that we're looking for. Finster. And he seems a little bit ticked off. I think this is going to be a risky situation. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, well, so how many people are in there? Um, I just saw him. Just him? Yeah. No, nothing else? No putties? No putties? Just him. Well, no, no, no. There was, th wait, wait, hang on. Oh, three putties. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so that's what junk food does to you, but uh, anyways. Guys. I Finster usually makes the monsters. He's not really a fighter. Maybe there's some way that we could possibly communicate with him to see what's going on. That's what I was wait, thinking. Yeah. Wait, guys, he seems he seems like his feelings are hurt. He was saying that he wasn't appreciated and that I, I feel like he's kind of vulnerable right now, so maybe we can talk some sense into him. Well, we could, but, but the thing is, putties, they, they're non sentient We can't talk into some, some sense of the putties. Maybe we could just rush in there, take out the putties, then we could talk to Finster. Right. Finster created the putties. Right. Wait, more. 
I'm gonna go in and talk to them. Wait, before you yes. do that, I have my hologram. We can use it. It'll tell us what happens in the next 30 seconds. <gasps> that is so smart! Wow! wow. Okay. Vesper, so you gear. I pull out my hologram. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, what is it? I don't have that card. Can you read it out real quick? Mm -hmm. Room scale hologram projector can only be used once per day, predicts the most likely version of the next 30 seconds, 30 seconds into the future, zero energy cost, zero damage. Beautiful, so you nice. can use that once uh, kind of per session, right? Once per day. Nice. And so you hand it off to All right, Eddie. this is my baby. All right, I'll take good care of it. And All you right. explain to him how to use it. So you just, before you act, just push this button here. And I like to like kind of Give it a nice pet just for luck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Its name is Holly. If you whisper that, I feel like it just kind of encourages the future to be a bit more positive. Holly. Perfect. Let me know what goes on in the next 30 seconds. Beep boop. All right. Uh, so it actually uh, shoots out this hologram. Uh, first, it's a, a small version of the room, and then it, it kind of goes bigger and bigger, and it fills the space. Uh, roll d6. Oh no. Six. It's a six. Uh, because of the like flickering yellow lighting in the room, uh, it seems like Finster and the three putties don't notice this hologram that has appeared. And then all of a sudden, there's a hologram version of Finster and the three putties. And what it seems like is Finster decides to, uh, to sit and uh, lay down, kind of recline himself amongst the skulls like it's his throne. And then uh, one of the putties comes up and uh, starts fanning Finster like this. <laughs> and the other putty starts like, meow, 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 meow. and then it starts giving like Finster like a, a foot rub, just trying to relax him. And uh, Finster turns and says, yes, my creations, at least they appreciate me. <laughs> so that is the hologram that you see. See that he's not attacking me. He okay, just, you're right. I think he needs to talk. So yeah. I'm gonna still go in and talk to him. Okay. I go. Yes. I go with you. Yeah. Right. Uh, so uh, as you turn the Can corner. I yeah, we should all go. <laughs> sure. Let's all go. You lead the conversation. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's all go. Uh, all right. So uh, you all uh, show up, and then uh, Finster, who looks like he was about to sit down and get real cozy, uh, looks up at you and says. Ah, I thought I had concealed myself. Oh, oh no, no, it's all oh, good. We we are just tourists, and we heard that this was might be the dwellings of the great and wonderful monster maker known as Finster. Finster, how how do you know my name? Oh, we know about you, Finster. Everybody knows about you. You are a big deal in the monster making community that we are a part of. Legend. The whole forum that Legend. we're a part. All of, of us love it. Yeah. Wait, the wait a second. Don't I recognize oh, yeah. you? Right. I've seen you before. I will step in hey, front that's of Aisha racist. Campbell. <laughs> I'm going to step in front of the Yellow Ranger being a little more yellow. Uh, and I'm going to say <laughs> Moida. I'm going to try to deflect attention away from my colleague. Okay, roll d6. Yeah. Oh, am I Good rolling thinking. now? Yeah, you Good are. thinking. <laughs> that's a two. That's a strong two. That's a serious two. <laughs> I'm going mega. <laughs> okay. Uh, so uh, add a. Uh, oh, super. 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 Go super. Oh, super. Yeah, you meant to go super. super. Yeah, to uh, add two. Super, super. Fine. <laughs> so you got a. I, I don't know. Four. You tell so me. If he's a four. You boss, you're the you boss. You hold a, uh, it, mm, a two. Yeah. Plus two. Yeah. Four. Oh, that's a huge two. <laughs> yeah. That's a huge two. It's, it. it's like. It's, it's, it's so enormous. I don't know what kind of accent that is. Anyway. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. But, you know, I, I like Aisha it. Campbell is a. She is a revered character in our history. She is a real person that led to all of us existing. So I have to step in front of her and take whatever horrible attack might come. Oh, what, who are you? How do you know about Finster? What are you hiding there? Oh, uh, we're not hiding anything. No, no, we just, we just heard that there was some, that you were great. I mean, obviously everyone must appreciate your fine work, correct? Yeah. And it's amazing. Your work is truly, it's <laughs> more phenomenal. As a sculptor myself, phenomenal. I couldn't even compare myself Ooh, to you. Oh, a sculptor, yes. 
Ah, people, Smart. people who appreciate creators, yes. people who appreciate yes. art. So. Yes. Oh, do you have somebody behind there? No, 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 no. 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 Oh, oh, let, let, let me ask that's you about just, your art. That's just oh, my I want to talk to you about your art. You see, <laughs> I, I'm a student here, and I, I, um, I love your creations, and I would love to learn more about it. Right? Absolutely, tell me about your greatest fear. My greatest. Fear. Yes, what is your greatest fear? What are you <laughs> afraid of? Go on, Marv. Please, tell, tell her about us. your greatest Just fear. Just uh, tell I don't want to let people down. Oh. Wow. Absolutely. And then Finster has just kind of got this devious look on his face. Wait, How about you? What are you afraid of? Look, before before we, we get into any of that stuff, uh, we, we wanted to talk to you about... What did you want to talk about, Jack? <laughs> <laughs> we want to talk to you about that... Thing that you were talking about, Jack. Come on, help me out. Yeah. No, Jack. Eddie, sorry. Eddie, Eddie, come on. <laughs> okay. We we were just wondering what someone like the Great Fenster would be working on currently. Yes. Oh, that was oh my goodness. A live audience. I have just the thing. And then all of a sudden, uh, he like opens up like a knapsack that has been slung around his waist, and he like takes out uh, some of the clay and starts sculpting all sorts of horrible things. Clay. First, he starts like making oh. uh, uh, the shape of a putty, and then he starts. Uh, and he shakes his head. He's like too excited. He doesn't even know what to sculpt. Ah, uh, you said you were afraid of. Uh, letting other people down and so he, he like starts making a mouth for the putty and then uh goes over into this like machine and then it appears and it's like a, a, a putty but it's got bigger uh muscles and it actually Whoa. has a mouth and it says you're a big letdown <laughs> well what is Whoa. your greatest fear what can i create for you I don't think we should tell him anymore, guys. I mean, I told you, he can make a monster out of anything. So, Finster, are you just doing this for fun? Are you going independent now? Because we've heard that you've worked for the great and powerful Lord Zed. Oh, that wasn't. I serve the one true Empress. Yes, you might know her name. Rita Repulsa. Oh, yeah, yeah. Lord Zed showed up on the scene and... My creations were just his slaves. Just monsters to do his bidding. He doesn't see what they really are. Listen. Creations, artistic works, things of my self-expression. Meanwhile, this giant... Uh, uh, at this point, I've retreated into myself, and I'm just kind of, like, standing there. Um, <laughs> this uh, giant, like... Um, not giant. It's just, like, seven and a it's half... It's a bully putty. It's, like, That's six what and it a is. half feet tall. It's a bully putty. Uh, it's, it's a bully a, putty. It's a, it's a bully putty, right? <laughs> Uh, it, uh, it starts, like, making faces at you. <laughs> Look, and, and guy, then, I don't appreciate it's a that. Bully book of so, uh, and, and, and it's kind of, like, stalking you, and then it starts, uh, 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 running its, like, hands through the frescoes, and then picking up some of the skull and, like, chucking them in your, uh, direction. It says, I just take it. Um, uh, roll a d6 to defend. Uh, can I not defend? Yeah, you cannot defend. Uh, I'm not gonna defend. I'm just gonna take the I skulls we, to the face. All right. I think. I think Wait, I can need I save more. Can I step in? Sure. Uh, Yo. Hey. This thing is just like playing off of your weakness. You haven't let any of us down. Don't let it affect you. Also, excuse me. Can you stop? This is. I'm deflecting the skull. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's enough. That's enough. Uh, so as this creature yes. uh, gets up, it turns towards you because you've addressed it. It says, Ah, yes. What is your greatest fear? The creature does? My greatest fear is the rainbows and sprinkles. Uh, and so it's like, Ugh! <laughs> and then it like throws uh, skulls at you. Uh, I swat the skulls away from her. Hey, don't do that to my friend. I go up and push them in the chest. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, Marvin. Yes. And then, uh, meanwhile, Finster's like, yes, yes I have a live audience. I, I must impress you all. And then he starts like creating uh, like a strange tentacle and then a, uh, uh -oh. like an octopus head Wait, with like guys, we have to stop him before he creates and then, like, more monsters. Well, but one oh. part is like a cheetah's tail and like uh, all sorts of fancy. And then he like squishes it up and then he throws it away and then he like tries to create some other stuff. This one is, uh, it looks like it has giant like bat wings and then it has 
has like the face of a, a, a school bus or something and he's like no and then he squishes it up and he keeps trying to create more and more things he's like he doesn't even know uh, what to do I step three paces forward mm -hmm. and boldly declare mm -hmm. Master Finster you are a sculptor of the most esteemed variety. Yes, I am. Uh, it, it is understood that no one can compare to you in this galaxy or any other. However, isn't it a bit below your skills to pander, to create monsters, to kill creatures who are lesser than yourself? How can we exalt your sculptural skill? Ah, and then uh, Finster's like, follow me. And then Finster uh, goes through another uh, opening, a different way that you uh, guys went. And you, uh, he climbs up some stairs that leads up to uh, a, a kind of display area of uh, older sculptures, uh, figurative sculptures, a boxer that's been bent over, um, a, a scene of a woman. They're all like very beautifully Roman sculptures. And says, yes, I aspire. Right? Uh, if you want to, would you oh. follow? It's, yeah. Yeah, yeah. we're following. Okay. We follow. You guys are following along and he's giving you a tour and he's just looking at, he's just pointing out all the Roman frescoes and stuff. And then suddenly, uh, now that you've kind of reached uh, uh, the, above ground so you've uh, kind of come out of the underground area and he says uh and then he kind of opens up his arms and he says this all this creation yes i wish to, to play a part in all of this and then suddenly um on the far end of like the open arena of the coliseum you guys are uh like where the gladiators would fight and then there are seats that are pointing down uh there's an explosion on the far end and then suddenly out of the smoke there is two figures and they're moving closer to you guys and it is velcanos and scorpina no, I man. think I might have said too much. Wait, wait, guys. <laughs> they don't know who we are either. Wait, do they? Oh, they yeah. Know. Yeah, they know. I believe they do. It was a setup, guys. We got set up. I believe they do. Uh oh. So, uh, Velconos and Scorpina make your make their way towards you, and then Velconos sees Finster. Uh, admiring the art and the whole kind of spiel and laughs to himself. At this point, <laughs> I'm gonna run from the Finster. Don't you laugh at my friend! And I look back at Finster to see if he's reacting. Uh, roll d6. Lightning bolt plus Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, one, yeah. Seven. Seven. Uh, Don't you make fun of my friend! What are you laughing at? His artwork is impeccable! So Finster says, what? Someone cares about me. Someone appreciates my artistic ability. Of course, you're an amazing yeah. artist. I mean, uh, artist, man. Yeah. And then uh, all of a sudden, um, you hear following you. It's the bully putty. It uh, comes <sighs> back up the stairs and it uh, makes its way <sighs> towards you. And then Velkonos turns towards Finster. And you guys have to bear with me. There's three characters. Uh, Velkonos <laughs> turns towards Finster and goes, Ah, art. I'll show you art. And then he reaches down into the ground and the, the three marble sculptures that uh, Finster was admiring, they start animating off their pedestals and uh, they seem just a little bit larger and they are surveying the area all behind you. So there's the, the bully putty, he's coming up the stairs and behind you all, there's Spinster behind Marv, and then there are three uh, marble sculptures starting to animate, and you can hear the like crushing of like the marble moving towards yours direct in oh, your direction. Spinster, Spinster, uh, you you're you're an artist, right? Yeah. Can you help me out? Look, these things, these are this is not art. They're creating abomination, but your art is truly art. Like that thing that you created, it it truly made me scared. It made me fear. Can you make that thing help us fight against those things that are not really art? That fake artist, he's trying to taint the name of all artists. You uh, can't let him do that. So you, okay, uh, roll, uh, I'm gonna say roll two with a disadvantage, but you can add one for your charisma. Okay. Please, two lightning bolts. Three. Oh, 
Yep. Even with a plus one? Oh. Well, I got a five and a two. Mm -hmm. so. All right. So, uh, Fencer looks at you. Please, man. And it's like he's not even <laughs> listening to you. He looks disillusioned. He looks across oh. the Colosseum into Velkonos' eyes and he looks at the marble sculptures that are behind him and he's he just steps away and he walks towards Scorpina and Velkonos to survey the growing, well not growing, but the moving marble sculptures that are around you. And now there are three marble sculptures, uh, one of a fighter, one of a woman, uh, one of a senator, and uh, <laughs> details, details. Yes, yes. Uh, doesn't matter, uh, they're bad. And then uh, the <laughs> a bully putty uh, shows up at the top of the stairs. So the four of these creatures uh, uh, are surveying uh, all of creatures. you. Guys, okay. I think it's time. <laughs> yes, I, I think I have a plan, guys. I think that you three, you take over, you take the, the statues, okay? Go you ahead. two, you guys take Velkanos. And me, I'm gonna take Scorpina. Wait, wait, wait. I wait. don't wanna do any of this unless I morph. We can morph. Ready? Let's do it. Yes. It's I'll that time. It's, it's time. Tiger. Oh. Oh. Blue. Ready. Power up. All right. All right, guys, you got your assignment? Yes. You three yeah. take the statues, you two take Velkanos, and I'm gonna take Scorpina. Wait, before, you, before you go, I, yes. Scorpina is incredibly strong. Last time we tried to fight against her and Velkanos, we could barely do anything. It's all right, because you know why? We're gonna work as a team. All right. So That's our superpower. I turn, I turn <laughs> yeah, toward girl. the three statues, and I decide to jump right in with a triple threat. Okay. Woo! Woo! So, uh, so Vesper, turn first. So that's uh, I'm gonna use three basic attacks, and okay. I have a plus one to my damage roll. Right. And I'm gonna make it a super. Okay. Super triple threat. So I run towards the three statues. I kick the lady statue in the face uh -huh. and do a swoop around and do like a sweep to the senator. And then after that, I jump backwards. And what was the third one? Sorry. A fighter. A fighter. I jump backwards. And there's a bully putty too. And I jump onto the fighter's neck, uh -huh. and I use the momentum to slam him down. Okay, so go ahead and roll your two d6s. Your more. Oh, come, yeah. come on, baby. Oh my god. Twelve. Oh no. Yeah. 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 I mean, if you put it sideways, oh. it's eleven. Oh. Ah. So two, three, four, five. You got you. You didn't get a critical, like, did you get two ones? I got two ones. Ugh. RPG. Ugh. RPG. Oh. The RNG gods are not with us today. But you had, did you say you had a super? Or? Yeah, I added a super. Okay. I added two supers. Okay. <laughs> four. And, and I had a one for the triple threat. So what's the total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Uh, uh, as you charge your way towards the three like Roman sculptures. There's a fighter, there's a woman, and there's a senator all, <laughs> and they're all like <laughs> coming towards you and they're, they don't, they can't even talk, right? And then uh, uh, you ping pong kind of like a, like a pinball off of uh, the senator and off of the fighter. And then you make contact with the woman, your arms, like you said, or, and then your legs uh, wrap around her neck and then you torque her down, uh, roll for damage. Yeah, Vesper! Go, go, go. Uh, seven. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. With two d6s? Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right, so. Come on, boss. Vesper, who's, uh, whose turn's next? What? what? Uh. I toss it to Jack. Jack, take care of these guys. Okay. <laughs> I am going to articulate my ram rage mm -hmm. <laughs> because I'm so ram ragey. Uh -huh. I'm going to charge the opponent 
and knock them with my cohorns. Cool. Is it a one or a two? It's a two. It's a two because you're, you're more. Nice. Nice. Come on. Oh, uh, I, I should have told you, you finished the uh, the woman. Later. Yeah. Later. Yes. Yeah. You finished the woman. Uh, that is Statue. a Ooh. nat 10. Ooh. A natural 10. Uh, who are you uh, targeting yourself towards? Anyone who is angry and gray and like kind of clayy. Sure. Uh, right now, it seems like the fighter is a little closer to you instead of the senator. Don't trust the statue people attacking the fighter. Okay. And you're attacking the fighter. Uh, you rolled a, uh, a 10. Good Ram rage. Ram rage. As you charge straight towards the fighter, you make contact. Roll for your damage. Okay, one or two, boss. And that's a seven. Okay, uh, as you make contact, uh, your ram rage, you uh, plow straight through him, and then there's bits of marble that go flying yes! and it crumbles. No! Uh, yes! These yes! almost yes! remind you <laughs> of like. Uh, no! The, the strength of those book monsters, even though they're made out of rock, they seem to be not as challenging as hmm. at first. Hmm. Books always more challenging than statues. Uh, Jack, who are you gonna throw it to? I'm gonna toss it to Das GM instead. Das GM, Das GM. So the bully putty at the head of the stairs turn towards Mar. Uh, and is like <laughs> laughing you got this, at you. Marvin. And is Believe like, in yourself. And, and your is just ears. like bullying you. <laughs> yes, you are a failure. You call yourself a leader. I'm not a failure. I got my friends, and they all believe in me. Yes, that's right. yeah, we that's do. Right. That's they mean right. nothing. Uh, so it uh, it turns towards you. Uh, roll to defend. You don't have to roll to defend. Uh, Eight. Okay. That's, uh, right. yeah. That's what I'm talking about, uh, my posse. It, it uh, all of a sudden seems a little scared of you. You seem to yes. almost, uh, if you were beaming, uh, <laughs> you're beaming with the energy, uh, knowing Cards. that your friends <laughs> yes. support you and believe uh, in your courage and your leadership. Uh, they and in so me. It, it tries to swing at you, but it totally misses. <laughs> And is it my turn? Doing it. Uh, doing absolutely, it. Marv. Oh, sweet. Okay. Uh, how far away is he from the wall? Uh, the putty. Yeah. I would say not too far, about three yards. Perfect. Okay. So as he swings at me, I'm gonna duck and I'm gonna lunge and I'm gonna do the thing that we did and I'm just gonna spin through the little uh, nice. thing in his chest. Yes. Spin yeah. through. Nice. And after that, I want to bounce off the wall and spin back at him mm -hmm. through him. So I wanna go, boing. Pew. Like a, All right, uh, <laughs> uh, roll. <laughs> and I'm gonna uh, make it mega. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. yeah! Like he's hurt me. Thank yeah. you for supporting yeah. us. Eight. 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 Yes. yes. Uh, and so as you jump up, uh, empowered by all the courage and love from your yes. fellow rangers through the heart of this yeah, big this bully putty, big bully putty, you make contact to the chest and you Twist through its body. Roll for damage. Woohoo! Yes! Seven! Seven! Plus two. Seven. Yes, that's five. <laughs> oh, oh, five plus two. And, uh, uh, and then your feet <laughs> land safely on the wall uh, as you've gone through him, and then you're able to uh, catch yourself and stabilize as uh, the putty. Very cool now. Imagine this shot uh, just crumbles and falls to its knees yes, over its yes. sh over your shoulder. Yes. Wait, go on. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Chloe, handle the rest. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a statue oh of a senator. All right. I'm gonna go for the senator. I'm gonna. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Roll your uh, 
Chloe, 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 Good Chloe, 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 Jump up in the uh, into the air. You have a fantastic vantage point of this Roman senator. It's got stone versions of its own like toga, and it like looks up uh, at you. But as soon as it tries to like shield its face with its stone clothes, uh, the the uh, the arrows penetrate through, and then you uh, it shatters uh, on contact. Uh, hey, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excuse me. Yeah. Thank you. What, what, what you shatters on girl? contact? What? Uh, the stone sculpture of a Roman senator. Yes. Wait, okay. Senator. We have yes. the rest. <laughs> it's up to you now. Not the arrows. Woo. Yeah. Chloe. Who's left over there? Uh, there is Scorpina and Velcanos and Finster. That's all. Uh, <laughs> and, no, uh, you know, some of your other teammates haven't taken it. Vesper, Jack, uh, the uh, bully putty is done. Bye. All right, I'm going to throw it to the GM. Okay. So, uh, Scorpina turns and faces you. Ah, yes. A familiar foe, Yellow Ranger. Ha. Huh. I know who you are, Scorpina. I thought you were long gone. Well, and maybe I'm back for a little bit more, back to finish what I saw. Started. Well, you know what? I've got the best team here. You're not going to finish anything. Yay! So it's my awesome. turn. I, uh, she takes, uh, she like reaches back and she has a sword. It's curved and she throws Whoa. it like a boomerang uh, in your direction. Roll 2d6 to defend. defend. Can I use my power dagger? Uh, not not yet. Defend, but you can use some of the, uh, well, attack. Super? Okay, yeah, I'll, give it, I'll give it to you. Yeah. Okay. Oh, 11! Plus the yes. super! Whoa! Whoa. 13, Scorpion, 13, 13. 13. 13. 13. Okay, and I'm as sure. that uh, sure. sword propels in your direction, <clears throat> yes. uh, you're able, like you said, like you oh. wanted to deflect with your power dagger, <laughs> and it just uh, flings off she, 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 in the other uh, uh, direction. My power daggers. And uh, she misses her they're attack towards you. Uh, I'm gonna popcorn it back to uh, Aisha. Yellow Ranger power! Yes. 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 yes! All right, Scorpina, how about this? I've got my power daggers. <laughs> and I've got a blade blaster, and I'm sick of playing with you guys. I need some help. Will you help me, Eddie? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Get him, tiger! <laughs> Get it? <laughs> <laughs> Saber tooth tiger, that is. <laughs> what we're gonna do, because we've got so we've got Valkanos and we've got Scorpina. What I and we've got Finster who is making his way yes. to uh, Vesper and uh, excuse me. Uh, making his way to Scorpina and uh, uh, Velconos. Yes, Velconos. I can never say that right. <laughs> what we're I gonna do either. is, I think that we should, you should uh, make like a, a human um, uh, trampoline. Can okay. You, can you be like a, a human trampoline? I sure can. Perfect. I'm pretty Perfect. Perfect. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna jump on this human trampoline. I'm gonna fly through the air, but I'm gonna grab you on my way out. And I'm gonna sling you towards Velkanos. Oh. And I'm gonna go with a roundhouse kick uh -huh. right over to Scorpina. Uh-huh. Woo! Yeah. 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 All right. Two birds, one stone. Right. Right. Ultimate uh, teamwork. <laughs> uh, roll 2d6, don't add them. Oh. And uh, hope that you beat me. Oh, me or him? Uh, well, because both? you're, you're oh. gonna teamwork it, right? Yeah. Yes, teamwork. Ooh, one fell on the ground. Here's one. Uh, re yeah, re-roll. Is that a lightning bolt? No. Oh, what is that? It's a it's a weird six. It's and a, weird a lightning bolt. Okay. And, well, okay. Whoa. And then uh, what, what did you roll? Two d six. Eight. Eight. All right. Uh, <laughs> as you uh, uh, ready yourself down to the ground, uh, you feel. The Aisha, the yellow Mighty Morphin Power Ranger, 
head over to you and then you're able to be launched successfully into the air and you try to propel yourself in uh you said Scorpion or Velcro? Yeah, I'm gonna go, but I'm gonna sling him. We're just short leading from the yeah. No, 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 no okay. I'm going to Scorpina. Okay, so you're gonna swing using that centripetal force of that momentum. You swing him towards uh, Velcronos and he uh, lands just beside him. Uh, what do you do as you're getting closer and closer to Velcronos, Eddie? Uh, I am I am going to just use my body and arms to, to lunge towards him to try to knock him down so that he doesn't use any more of his power. Okay, um, and then Aisha also yes. propels yourself towards... I'm going towards Scorpina. Yes. And I'm going to get, um, I'm going to slap her uh -huh. with oh. my power daggers. Yes, Ooh. yes, yes, yes. Oh, slap her. That is fast. That is like humiliating. That's my face. That hurt. I taste, I taste pudding. Yes, yes. Um, roll. Beat her till she has Judy pudding. Six. Oh! Eight. Whoa, Eight. these rolls. Uh, uh, suddenly, you feel like the power daggers are going to make an appearance in your yes. hand. <laughs> they show up in your hand. They magically oh, show up. Oh. 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 It's okay, I'm just holding it. Yeah, I'm holding it. I'm holding it. We told you guys to stop the break in my life. Uh, as you deal wheel both of your weapons uh, to towards Scorpina, you unleash a barrage, cut, cut right through her, uh, uh, towards her face, and she makes contact right here. Ah! Ah! And she stumbles backwards. It's a hit, and uh, you said eight damage. Too. Yes. You did. Yes. Yeah. You are right. yeah. <laughs> You get to pass it along. Oh, who's left? Uh, Eddie. Popcorn. Eddie, you've gotta, you've gotta take care of Finster. Hey, All right. Hey. Try to be wait, his wait, friend. Wait, 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 wait. If you, yeah, if it's with Finster, make sure you don't hurt him. He doesn't seem like he's got an evil heart. I'm flying yeah. in the air right now. Yeah. <laughs> make sure you don't hurt him. Oh, he was going to Delconos. No. Yeah. Yeah. But you're, you're also like, go to Delconos first. All right. So I used to just threw me in the air, and I'm heading sure. towards Vel Velconos. So while I'm in the air. I'm gonna pull out my Oceanus Trident Ooh. and smack him right in both of his uh -huh. hands because I don't want him to touch the ground again to cause me more power. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's uh, beautiful. So he goes like this and he raises his hand as you are charging a uh, fall, uh, kind of death from above from yes. the sky. And, and then I'm gonna ultra do it because this is a big boss. Yes. Trident is actually very large and powerful, and it looks like it has is charging up to shoot a blast, and he actually uh, steps out of the way. Oh, oh, man. That's okay, Eddie. Valiant up for Eddie. You can do it. I tried, guys. I got a fourteen. Oh. That's okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> so, Eddie, you've you've. Uh, Move, done your move, and then Velconos maybe won't have a move. Yeah, Velconos, let's see what you do after that. Or Marv, it's your choice. Go, Velconos, okay. let's see what happens. Velconos turns and looks at Scorpina, who was just, uh, you know, hit with a barrage of uh, weapons from the dual wielding yellow Mighty Morphin Power Ranger, and uh, looks at uh, Finster and all of a sudden gets a evil smile on his face uh -oh. and as Spencer approaches him uh, he uh, turns and he snatches that bag 
that Finster had, the bag that he had pulled the clay out. No, no! And, no. and uh, yeah. Finster uh, kind of like holds on to his bag and like looks at uh, Velkanos and Finster is much smaller and you know, just just looks like a dog wearing an apron, even oh, though he no. may have very, very evil uh, intentions. And then Volkanos is able to, uh, you know what, I should... I no, should. wait! I want to step forward, boss, sure. and tell Finster that he is an artist! You are an artist, and your work should not be subjugated for evil uses. Only wonderful discoveries of life. You're better than this, Finster! You better. are better than this! Okay, whoever is trying to convince Finster of anything, roll 2d6. I know! That's me! Don't roll! That's oh, me, that's all. you! That's <laughs> you! I know, huh? All right, that's a seven. Oh, okay. Uh, suddenly, uh, as he's like holding on to his bag, he uh -oh. turns toward you and says, Oh, you really think so? I do oh, yeah, yeah, we do! I do. Yeah. And then, uh, uh, I seriously do. It's me. As no, Finster was uh, distracted by your commentary, oh. uh, uh, Velkonos grabs the bag and laughs <laughs> and uh, starts just... What he does is he just takes what is like an eraser head sized amount of clay, <sighs> looks at you and smiling shit, like with a horrible jagged oh, smile no. and flicks Ooh. it in your direction and this uh, blob of clay kind of like it's it's first a pea-sized amount and it rolls around getting bigger and bigger snowballing and it almost has like a, a head like a mound to it it's uh -oh. looking around it's looking at all the shattered rubble of the broken statues beforehand and it looks down at the the fighter that you broke and then it starts forming the most magnificent sculpture of a uh, a dual wielding gladiator it has two swords and it has leather a uh, like uh, you know sectioned leather armor it has like a leather skirt it has um gladiator sandals and it has this horrible helmet so it looks like a metal hat with a wide brim and it has um but it's made out of uh, of stone and then it's uh, it's got a face great you can't even see its eyes or its mouth and then finster who sees this like, wait a second, you just took my clay and then like flicked it over. He's like, oh my goodness, what? I am in the, I am in the presence of a, a great artist, so much greater than no, I am. No, no, And then he, um, he, uh, he just like runs off like, and then like tears are streaming from his face and he's running away from the Colosseum. He's so upset at himself and he leaves Volkanos and Scorpina there. And then there's this new gladiator Creature, it's like seven feet tall, and it's uh, it's like really ripped. What? Oh. Whoa! Guys, you know what? I for we're, we're not. Uh, leaving. Mar I think it's not the end of the round. So Marv, this is like the last turn. Okay. Well, what were you gonna say? Well, I don't know, but I I do have my Zord, guys. Well, we we can't bring the Zord in here. It'll crush everything. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to... But that is a good idea. That is a great sorry, idea. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Oh, 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 okay. This future stuff is mixing me up. I know, let's Aisha, talk. take, take us outside to where your Zord can operate, can't, wait, and wait, then... Wait, we could do that. Yes, maybe if we run, they'll follow us. Yes! Well, the, my, my, my main concern is if we go outside and they do follow us, then we put civilians in danger. True. You're right, but well, you know what? We can uh, create a distraction. How about I finish this thing off? Yes, Close. please, finish it off. Yeah. What Look, do you want me to do? It didn't work last time, but we could do it again. I believe in us. Totally didn't work. Super. Is there an ultra? <laughs> super, good enough. One super. Okay, um, I need you to create a whirlwind. Point it at that guy right in his do chest. It. I'm gonna step in the eye of the hurricane, and I'm gonna launch myself in my spinning pierce. This time I'm gonna ignite my claws, and I'm gonna go straight through that guy. Maybe the hurricane will keep him locked in the same place, so maybe I can, idea. I can get a better shot. Yeah, I'm gonna make this super turbo. Can I use a bit of my stealth to really ramp this hurricane up? Uh, absolutely. Okay. Uh, All right, are Is you that, ready? I'm ready. All right, yeah. doing my hurricane whirlwind with a, a plus one of stealth, so it's going pretty fast. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna do my uh, lunging strike with my <laughs> Iapetus claws, but I'm gonna make it super. 
I'm gonna okay, call add it. two to that. Yeah. Whoa. What? Can I even roll? <laughs> you shouldn't even roll at this point. Oh. <laughs> I got a four. You, you know, I could have rolled two ones, but I rolled eight. Ah! <laughs> Dang it! It's worth uh, the shot! Ah! So as you uh, go in towards the gladiator, unfortunately, it's able to just sidestep out of that the way, cool. turning no, around, <laughs> and comes back around, and uh, it just kind of watched you do a Yui. I distracted him! him. No, Get him, Eddie! No, it is me. Listen, okay, my go friends, Jack. we have tried our best to deal with this monster. But we have only one real hope, and that is Aisha Campbell, the Yellow Ranger. We have to follow her and do what she says. Let's marshal our strengths and join with her to defeat this enemy. Okay. Great idea. You got it, Jack. Perfect, guys. We're going to run. We're going to get outside. We've already morphed, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. OK, so we're already mm -hmm. morphed. I'm going to call on my Griffin Thunder Zord. Mm -hmm and we're gonna jump in, and we're, as a team, we're gonna take him out. And guess what, Vesper? Yes. You can drive. I can Woo! drive. She can drive. I'm gonna drive. You've earned it. I'm gonna drive it so vigorously. Yes. Wait, 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 if you guys do that, um, I'm gonna stay on the ground just to make sure that no civilians get trampled. Sounds good, sounds good. Actually, there's a lot of room in there. No, oh, I don't know, this is a really, this is a cool opportunity. Wait, that would be great, because then Teamwork. I could also, I could uh, distract him from the ground yes. while you guys take him from the air. Yes, perfect, Let's perfect. Do it. Uh, and we uh, can get rid of the civilians. Remember when you brought the gelato? Why don't right. you go and grab gelato and the civilian give out free gelato, but do it like far away. I'm gonna miss out on this really cool thing. No, you but you can just no, 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 no. It's only we'll do it together. It only takes like two seconds. It only really takes like two seconds. I'm just like streams anime tears are coming. No, out. <laughs> no because you're gonna come back in. You're gonna come back in. You just gotta like. I gotta do this for the people. Do it for the people. For the people. <laughs> Free gelato. Free gelato, but just like bomb. just punch the gelato guy and then just let him. That's can... not very ranger like. Well, I know, I know. Well, I'm just gonna steal it. Oh yes! my God. <laughs> <laughs> also, I mean, you're like, but well, that's okay. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so we, me and Chloe, run outside. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, press a button on my thing so that my helmet comes off, so that way it's yeah. just I'm helmetless okay. and in my clothes. All right. What I'll do you guys want to do? Okay. So you guys de morph. No, just helmet off. I, okay. I want to be strong. Sure. Yeah. Helmet, <laughs> helmet off as well. Just okay. helmet off. Yeah. All right. You what happened and, to your and, hair? It's up to me. You can't like tame a lion's like mane, man. Uh, <laughs> uh, and uh, as, as you uh, run out, you let, let's just focus on this scene so we yes. can break this up. Um, uh, as you run out, you see Massimo kind of like looking at his uh, watch, tapping his finger, and hey, Massimo, a lot um, of uh, great commotion. seeing you again, man. I mean, yeah. uh, great seeing you, my friend. You have done great. <laughs> <laughs> we need a little bit more help now. Yeah. Um, there is going to be big bang. You need help me get everyone to gelato. Gelato is great. Pistachio. Bro. Oh, yeah. Pistachio. I, I, I love pistachio. Yes, yeah, everybody, pistachio. come get some gelatos. We are doing a special deal. You have to see it for yourself. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Wait, yes. is there a promotion going on? Is it free or? Yeah, well, it's free. And if you eat some, you may live to see another day. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yes to the second uh, part. Ma Massimo takes out a uh, walkie-talkie. Uh, you hear something in Italian. How's everything going back there, guys? And then, uh, uh, is it okay if I invite my friends? Yes, invite everybody. Make so sure everybody another go tour out, group please. that was underground. Yes. Uh, I mean, yes. Yeah, another tour group that was uh, underground emerges and says, Massimo addresses that tour group. Ah, they have some free gelato. Free I, gelato, yes. Oh, no. Uh, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, poor gelato guy. <laughs> it's uh. like you're like half morphed. But you, I'm gonna let you roll 2d6 because you're wearing <laughs> this part, and you roll 2d6. Woo! I needed this before. Come on. Yeah. It's an action figure morph. Uh, it's nine, nine and eight. It's it's a costume it's okay. morph with no head. That's the flip head. Uh, it's a flip head. And so all of a sudden, uh, it seems like the uh, 
the people have been cleared out of the Coliseum because they're very interested in the gelato right outside. Fantastic. Um, How's everything going back there, guys? We're moving out, guys. Come on, let's go. Let's like this, we've cleared the area. Everyone's eating ice cream. We're gonna fight in the Coliseum, right? All right, it's time for me to call that. Well, well not in the Coliseum because if you shoot anything in the Coliseum, we'll break a national landmark. No, this is an international intergalactic landmark. An international landmark. intergalactic landmark. Right. You're right, Jack. Let's take it to the woods. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> the woods. Uh, Italian woods. As yeah. you were saying uh, that uh, Velconos and Scorpina, uh, they look at each other and uh, they kind of are just like moving back watching you, um, uh, you know, survey the, the uh, area, and then uh, Velkonos reaches towards the sky. No, My not leader! Again. Not no! again! <laughs> My leader, yes! It is time! Not again. Lend your evil dark powers! And a lightning bolt comes from the sky, striking the gladiator straight through the head, and it grows oh, bigger. Oh no. Almost as tall, taller than the Coliseum itself. We don't. And it is looking over the whole we area. We have Zords. Uh, we have her Zord. No, we, we do. Zord. I mean, do we see it from the outside? Yes. Yeah. I ah! we do. I, I drop my ice cream as I see it. Oh my. I catch it. Oh, don't waste it. Thank you. Aisha, <laughs> it's, no! it's it's all up to you. We will back you up, and I am so yellow right now, you have no idea. <laughs> Let's get my sword out here. Saber two tiger griffin thunder sword power! Yeah! Yeah! Happy thought jump! <laughs> Saber two tiger! And, uh, Super bounding power. out of the forest, it hops into the Coliseum, oh. and it's not there's not too much room. And it uh, appears uh, next to you, next to this giant gladiator monster. Take it to the air! Uh, let's move it to the air and then to the woods! <laughs> Wait, maybe Good you guys can grab it with your Zord! Yes! Oh my gosh! Vesper, get behind the controls. All right, I step behind the controls. Yeah, once you make an attack, guys, I'm gonna put you back in initiative system. Oh, so. okay. Okay, so I'm letting All you role right. play real, real, real quick right now, but. All right, so I take a quick scan at the controls and I realize, okay, this is a very primitive version of what I'm used to, so. <laughs> less is more, less is more. Is that less is more. That's, That's what it awesome. is. <laughs> Good call, Just hit the red button. Then hit the red button. <laughs> We're not supposed to do that. We're not doing that. All right, uh, roll 2d6. No. Uh, nine. Plus one is 10. Plus one from what? Tech. Okay. Um, uh, as uh, you uh, you touch the things, it's just it doesn't make uh, quite enough sense. It feels like it's missing something. Remember when you took the hologram picture? You yeah. feel like you're just not connected to that uh, you know yellow ranger power energy. Miss Campbell. As much as I would love to pilot your resort and thank you for letting me try, I, I'm not a yellow ranger or a yellow time force ranger. I think it's up to you or Jack. You know what? I think we should do it together, man. We've been doing, we've been fighting together all day. Miss Campbell, I am with you forever. Nice. Let's get in. It's time to take them out. I you ship call it. it. I ship it too. <laughs> I do, man. I do. All right. What's going on over you, there? Big guy. All right. Aisha, uh, it's your turn. So Aisha gets in and she has the leaping saber tooth. Uh, that's when she's not her zord, but okay. I, I get it. <laughs> uh, your saber tooth tiger griffin thunder zord can shoot fireballs. Yes, it can shoot fireballs. So she loads in the cannons mm -hmm. and she looks at Jack. He looks back at her. And together they join hands and they hit the red button. All right. Ah! Yeah. Boogie with the bear! Boogie with the bear! Uh, we'll get to that later, guys. Uh, uh, <laughs> the, uh, One time travelers, so the fun. giant fireball uh, charges itself up. It's aiming towards the giant gladiator. Uh, and roll your 
You get to roll 3d6. Oh, oh, you want to blow on I that for it. me, Eddie? <laughs> yeah, man. Sure. Yeah. Let me get blow that back. Let me take that back. Blow it, blow it, blow it. Give it. Give it. Give it. Give it. Give it. Oh, you got seven. You count it. I got seven. Uh, she got seven. I got five. That's a 12. Ooh. All right. So uh, as it charges up, uh, it's a giant fireball. The saber tooth tiger griffin thunder sword. Uh, uh, it fires right at the gladiator, but the gladiator turns towards yours direction, and then uh, it kind of goes through its arm Whoa! right here, and it actually hits the wall of the Colosseum where the seats are, and it uh, crumbles, and then some of the rubble uh, falls down uh, on the ground, and... Um, Man. Uh, this is going to be a lot worse to clean up than the library. Yes. yes. All right. So it, I guess it's uh, you guys are still little people on the ground, or it could be my turn. We may be little people, but we can do something. No, wait a yes. minute. Wait a minute. Wait. I, I, Aisha, you can popcorn to the GM or yes. popcorn to one of your teammates, but not yeah. me. Okay. I'm out. okay. Okay. Well, okay. Well, it was teamwork, so she could popcorn. Uh, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you know what? Since you suggested it, I'm gonna popcorn to you, Mister. Yeah. <laughs> well, you yeah, can use the Zord too. Miss yes, Bang. you're in the Zord. <laughs> I am going to take a nanosecond to find my RAM focus. Yes. To find the ultimate headbutt power mm -hmm. that I possess. Yes. Being morphed as I am, you know, with yes. all these, these things. <laughs> and I am going to make the RAM rage towards the opponent. And I suppose that's a one. But you're in the Zord with her, right? I know, but I'm, I'm just gonna okay, run it's against the energy. The, I'm gonna it's run energy against the, 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 the windshield right. of the Zord. Okay. Uh, now I'm forcing it. Well, no. you, can, you can just use the Zord. It's just yellow use energy. The Zord. No, but I'm not driving the Zord. Hey, boss, can I drive the Zord for a second? Sure. All right, I'm driving the Zord. <laughs> uh, uh, sure. Roll sure. Okay, I'm going for it. Woo! My attempt here is to uh, dislodge the opponent from their. Uh, from their stasis, so that we uh, have them on the ground and not able to attack. And that's a that that is a eight. After rolling three d sixes. Yeah. Oh, uh, three. Uh, three. Three. Yep, that was an eight for three. Um, <laughs> as you uh, uh, the uh, saber tooth tiger griffin thunder zord uh, lurches forward in your style, just like you were intending. Uh, maybe you had some influence over it. It uh, charges forward and it just kind of pummels into the like side of the uh, giant gladiator uh, monster, but it does not fall like you wanted it oh. to. Uh, and uh, now it is uh, somebody else's turn. Mars! Uh. Okay, uh, Chloe! I you know what? Let's just try it again. Third time's a charm. Okay. We're both out here. Held it up. All right. I'm gonna do my the thing. Our, I'm our gonna combo. I'm gonna hurricane whirlwind it up with a little bit of stealth to make it just extra mm -hmm. stinking fast. And this thing is a huge tiger, so I, hopefully I'll land in there somewhere. Uh, and as as you look up at it, it's like tearing up some of the like just like trying to call a seam. It's no, like reaching stop for this it, it, auto it. vendor. Okay. That's not bad, what'd you get? That's, that's seven? six, oh, seven and a four. Seven and... I love... Come on, boss. Um, Come on, boss. It's just uh, too enormous uh, ah. out of your reach. Uh, as you uh, go through, right, it's like, it's just so big. And Vesper, Eddie, it is up to you. We need the thinkers. Yes. We need the brain power. We need, to, yes. we need to make sure that we can at least take it out before it does anything. Uh. It continues to eye, like, maybe even, like, the rubble on the ground. Vesper, the do something while I'm in the air. Vesper, do hey, something! Do something! Yeah. All right, guys, I can't pilot this sword, so it's up to you guys. But I think we should do a tactical aim towards the center of 
of this uh, gladiator. Okay. We'll show him. We'll make him gl glad. <laughs> Indy! You know what? Can I? Yes. <laughs> All right. So, um, I, I, uh, I talk, can I toss it back to her since I can't really attack? Oh, wait. Yeah. All right. In the door. So I, I give since it to you. Since we're like um, okay. running out of time, yeah. I'll, I'll, we'll do that. You um, mean literally? Yeah, literally. Ah! No! Um, so uh, as you like throw it back and you, you shout your words of encouragement to uh, the yellow Power Ranger of the Mighty Morphin oh. era, um, you see out of the corner of your eye, um, Scorpina and Velkonos have retreated. They're laughing at themselves. They're clapping. It's like they're watching a good gladiator show. And suddenly, they s talk to themselves and you hear like, ah, we have gotten what we have came for. Yes, we have. But I do want to see the rangers get destroyed. No, we have better things to pursue. Scorpino, let's go. And then they uh, they teleport away. And so all that's left is this giant monster that's wrecking havoc uh, in the middle of Rome in the Colosseum. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's take care of this thing once and for all. Yeah, you know what, guys? You know what works really well with me and my team? When we all work together. So I think if you guys got in the Zord with me, all of that positive energy, we'd be able to defeat him. Can somebody catch me? I'm still fighting! Yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, so this is normally how you would uh, roll for a Megazord. Yes. You all roll 1d6 and you're gonna add, and you're gonna roll 2d6. Ooh, yes. All right. Five. Eight. So, Eleven. five. Eddie. Two. Oh. Uh, three. So Fourteen. 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 Uh, I will. Oh, oh! Oh, that didn't happen. Oh, wow. sorry about that. Sorry. Oh, that was the wrong one. Uh, that's a yes! six! That's a 20! Okay, here we go, guys. Yes! 24! 24. 24. 24! 24! Uh, so, uh, as you rear it, uh, is your, at your, as your saber-toothed tiger, Griffin Zord, rears its head, it charges up another fireball, and somehow it is, uh, bigger. Yes, and then I'm gonna, I'm going to throw my Oceanic Trident in front of it, which when it blasts the fireball through it, will split it into two Ooh. fireballs to aim at the gladiator. Yeah. And I'm gonna pet the dashboard and uh, get a good kitty. Uh, <laughs> roll 2d6. Two 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 oh, yes, I will. Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. Nine. Woo, yes. Uh, and as it charges up an even larger fireball, the largest one we've seen today Whoa. at the, uh, well, aren't you happy about this yes, giant fireball? Yes, yes. Uh, uh, towards the gladiator monster. Uh, it turns and tries to deflect with its sword, but the uh, fireball charges towards the, uh, the sword. And then suddenly, as if by perfect plan, it splits off and goes around and hits left side and right side. Um, I'm, if you, to accelerate, I'm gonna roll the damage for you. That's the damage uh, uh, when you put yourselves all together like that. All right, and so um, it hits and the fire engulfs the gladiator in flames and suddenly it's like it melts, it's like the clay is melting and it turns into a giant puddle and then the giant puddle turns into steam and it dissipates up into the air, and uh, you guys are have defeated the gladiator creature. Oh, oh, gladiator, uh, more like sadliator. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh man, man. You, you, guys, you guys have been hanging out a lot. I like it. I like it. I like it. And so uh, there is some damage to the walls of these ruins. Oh. 
They are ruins, but there is some damage on the side. And uh, all these people right outside the Colosseum, they were here for some free gelato and tours, like <laughs> saw kind of like the top half of this fight happen. I, so I climb up to like the very top of the Colosseum, mm -hmm. takes me a little while. And I look down to the people and say, we are the Power Rangers and we just saved you. Okay, bye. Uh, <laughs> uh, roll 2d6. Uh, four. So uh, they look up at you and you're <laughs> gloriously like silhouetted. The sun is right behind you and all you are is the dark figure, the dark silhouette of a uh, Power Ranger. And they go, yeah! And they start clapping a and black cheering. Power Ranger. Uh, uh, yeah. A uh, black Power Ranger right up there. And they start clapping and cheering. Yes. And these people, they do know of the Power Rangers, right? So they're yes. like, Power Rangers! And lo lots of chorus of voices and all different kinds of accents and languages. Maybe they're Russian, maybe they're Italian, maybe they're English. Uh, and they are saying, Power Rangers! Power yes. Rangers! And so uh, Alpha says, Rangers! What has happened here? Oh my goodness! You need to teleport back. Zordon has a message for you. Can we get teleported back from this far away, Alpha? Oh, I don't know. That is a good question. Actually, I mean, if anything, it's hard to teleport us away, but teleporting us back should be no problem. But right? we can ride the, or we can ride the Griffin back. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that sounds great. So since Either you're way. all already inside the saber tooth tiger group and power uh, uh, Thunderzord, Thunderzord um, it rushes like <laughs> <laughs> uh, across the ocean, uh, Mediterranean, Atlantic uh, oceans, uh, American Midwest, the desert, and then back to Angel Grove. No, I'm actually sitting mountain. in a tiny bathroom right now. Please, <laughs> can I get out of this thing? It's mm -hmm. ridiculous. <laughs> Think a bad thought. And, uh, and then out. Alpha teleports you back onto the ship. And then in the central control area oh. of the ship, there is. Ah, oh, Rangers. Congratulations. You have defeated the monster that was created. However, there was some damage that was done. Oh. We tried to minimize Sorry. the damage as much as we could, but for the safety of the people, did our best. I mean, the thing was halfway crumbled anyway. Oh, she, oh, that's for that. Nice. It's got a point. The, the, the <laughs> truth is, it would have been much worse without the help of Aisha Campbell. Yes, that's one thing that we could all agree on. She truly, truly helped us on our mission today. So whoever you are, thank you. Thank Aisha, you. do you have any parting words? It is time for you to go. <gasps> Your yeah. team Wait, needs oh. you. You know, maybe maybe we can meet again someday. Maybe maybe uh, Vesper can make some sort of I don't know transportal device where we could come back and visit you, or you could come out and help you know, us out. I, that that sounds really great, but I think this might be the last time we see her. Well, if this is the last time we're gonna see you, I actually got something from the gelato guy. I pulled out the gelato guy's business card. Uh, <laughs> we um we met this guy that Eddie's made friends with in your city, okay. Angel Grove. His name is Ernie, and. Uh, Maybe he could do some business venture with some ice cream or something. I don't know. We had a great time with it. Nice. Nice. You guys are awesome. You know what? I'm so glad I got to help you guys, and I'm so glad and super excited that there are rangers in the future. Like, that's the coolest thing. And what I love most about today is we worked as a team. I got to see every single one of you, and I got to see power that's within all of you. And I don't want to go, but my team needs me. Take care of your team. I will. Especially Aisha, the Black Ranger. Aisha. <laughs> oh, anime tears again. <laughs> it's okay, Chloe. I made Chloe. you a special burrito as a parting gift. Oh, Chloe. It has cheeseburger and candy and some spaghetti. Oh, Chloe, that's so <laughs> awesome. I'm going to share this with my team, and hopefully we don't, like, Pew? Yeah. Maybe we can take <laughs> some of this gelato oh, too. Uh, uh, Zordon interrupts. Unfortunately, Aisha, you may never speak to your other rangers, your team, about your encounter from these visitors from the future. It is imperative that humankind does not know what will happen. Got Remember it, your duty as rangers. More burrito for you. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. Got yeah. it. 
This will never be spoken of amongst your group of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers ever again. <laughs> My lips are sealed. Guys, nice to meet you. Alpha 55, nice to meet you. Absolutely, I was so glad to be of service. Sword on, I'm ready. Wait. It's a pleasure to meet you, Aisha. Jack. Oh, Jack. Wait, You're we awesome. gotta take a picture of this, you guys. Hey, no, 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 no more for <laughs> Uh, and then sure. Zordon act, uh, <laughs> activates some kind of uh, transportation, and as you're holding hands, you see her oh. hand oh. fade away. Oh. <laughs> Man, that girl needs to like increase the size of the bathroom in her Zordon. Like, <laughs> All right, totally thank you ridiculous. very much. That is end of the Rangers Hyperforce episode. <laughs> thank you so 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 much. Oh my goodness, you came back. Yeah. I yeah. came back. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> that, that is in your future. Yes, you do not that's know. Yes, yes. And it sounds like we have some awesome, awesome stuff to give away. Well, we already gave away some signed cards because we hit our goal. So yeah. thank you. Yeah. Yeah. We already gave those away. Um, but you know what? I made oh, extras. <laughs> So I'm going to say, everyone get active in the chat again. We'll do another round of uh, signed cards, because I made extra. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Thank you for yeah. watching. We're going to do another Thank giveaway you. of the signed cards, and we're also going to be doing a giveaway right now of the Loot Crate giveaway, which is extremely awesome and has all sorts of exclusive stuff in hey. there. Hey, wait. What's in the Loot Crate? You don't know unless you know. Hey, which means you can For this get giveaway it. in particular, we showed them everything that was in there. <laughs> But you should uh, sign up for Loot Crate. You have five days to use the code Powers15. Uh, Power15. Uh, it's on the screen. Check it out. Uh, go to the link lootcrate.com slash hyperforce. You have five days to do that. And get them you will PJs. Get one of five limited edition Mighty Morphin Power Ranger figures. You should definitely do that. Uh, so, yeah, we have two giveaways to do right now. Thank you once again, Karen Ashley, for joining us. Yeah. Yeah. That. And thank you guys <laughs> so much in the audience. Uh, we're going to be doing the giveaways while the credits are rolling and everything. So stick around. Don't go anywhere if you want a chance to win. Thank you guys for your subscriptions, for your support, all of it. Thank you guys so much. Bye. 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 Stick around. Bye. 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 Bye.